All right, what's up, my friends? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Football Sunday, football Sunday, football Sunday. But I woke up and I was like, you know what? I know I have a day off and I'm home and I'm not traveling this weekend, but why spend it with my family or watch football when I can hang out with you guys, right? So football Sunday stream, and uh, we'll, we'll be doing, I'll watch some football later. But we're uh, we're going to revisit Duncan Dinos. This is one of the funnest decks I've played in a long time. I played this deck on stream a while back, and... It was really, really cool. The deck is based around Wayward Sword Tooth and Experimental Frenzy. And the goal is basically to get both cards in play and just power through your deck. Um, one of the problems with Frenzy, despite being a really, really good magic card, is when you hit two lands in a row, you have to stop usually. So with Sword Tooth, you can kind of keep going and rolling. And we also have other elements in our deck to make sure we can uh, try and clear the top of our deck from lands and keep casting spells. We have four treasure map. This card's really, really good in this deck. Uh, card advantage, mana acceleration, mana, you know, fixing, it's great. And we got Dryad Greenseeker, very underrated card. I am Groot. 1-3 uh, for 2, so it's a fine blocker, and it taps to draw a card basically every other turn-ish. And of course, in this deck, we can see the top of our deck with our scries and stuff, and then uh, draw some more lands, and then play the more lands with, with the Sword Tooth. Uh, removal speed, we got Shocks this time instead of Shiv and Fire, because going upstairs seems to be important. And kicking it, kicking it does not seem very important. Lightning Strikes, and then two Lava Coils. You gotta kill some of the bigger stuff occasionally. Uh, Lana Rolls for some ramp. And then the big guns are Fight with Fire and Bane Fire. In the last league we played with this deck, we killed a lot of people with back to back Fight with Fires or just with Bane Fire for 20. Uh, so that gets a lot of mana in play. It just tears through the deck. Then we have two Karn. Karn is um Card Advantage Engine, can also clear the top of the deck. Also interesting because it seems like it's bad with Frenzy because you put, car you put the card in your hand. Um, but you're clearing the top of your deck. You can make tokens. And then if you don't have Frenzy online, then it allows you to keep drawing cards. You know, Red and Green doesn't have too many card draw engines. Also very good with Treasure Map. Uh, makes the Constructs into 4-4s four at a minimum. So main deck didn't change too much um, from, from our original list. Our original list went 3-2 or 4-1, I think. Cyborg, we fixed some stuff up. Uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass seems really, really important. A lot of the fairies out there, and then a lot of the black-green decks are relying heavily on Varaska and Vivian Reed. Um, so having an answer to Planeswalkers in these colors is very important. Three might be too many, but I think you really, really want one of those matchups. So we're doing that. we got two Crushing Canopies also um, against the Ixalan Bindings of the world and the Lyra Dawnbringers of the world. A useful card to have. Also good against that Mono Blue deck um, that's floating around. Three Death, Death Quartz Scavenger, uh, very good against Mono Red, very good against uh, the Graveyard decks. Card seems sweet. Um, Thrashing Brontodon as an extra dis disenchant, and uh, extra Lava Coil. Fiery Cannonade, opponent wants to cast an end step, march the multitudes. Whoosh, we're going to light them all up. And then a third Bane Fire for control matchups. Um, so yeah, not too, much, not too different on this version. We have a crazier version we're going to try after this more based on actual dinosaurs. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. No spoilers. Deck seems sweet. Let's battle. I'm excited. You should be too. Immortal Sun is not very good in this deck because the extra cards we draw off it we'll usually not be able to use with uh, Experimental Frenzy. So I think we might have had one Immortal Sun on our sideboard initially, but not really big on that one. So let's battle. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, 64, and Tiki Cheeky, Mirror Mirror, Crude Savagery, Mig, Sonic, uh, Recanter, Witherfang, Slurpee. What's up, my friends? Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Not a usual stream slot for me, but let's do it. Got a magic. Same question. What do you think about green-white tokens? That's, that's definitely good. Usually when you pack a lot of Mythic Rares into your Week 1 deck, you're bound for success. Because you're just playing the most powerful cards in the set. And even if you haven't built your deck perfectly, you're still just have, like, wielding a lot of power. So, I don't think Evolving Wilds is necessary. Uh, I think Field of Ruin does the same thing as far as like clearing the top of your deck. And uh, it doesn't come in tapped. And then also has utility against utility lands. So I think the Fielder Run's probably just better. The 
got the Siege Gangs from the deck. First list was playing Siege Gang, and uh, just wasn't just wasn't great. I don't know. I just didn't really do what we what we wanted it to do. We got some football today, of course. Fantasy football for those who are unaware. I'm in a 20 team league full of Magic pros, uh, run by Pro Tour champ Steve Rubin. We got uh, you know Christian Calcano and BBD and Kevin Jones and a whole bunch of Magic players in there. Let's see who I'm playing this week. If it loads, what is going on? Our match won't load. Football won't load. All right, we'll do football later, I guess. I think my computer's been going slow lately. My match has started. Let's go. Duncan Dinos. Ooh. Ooh, man. Give me a forest. This hand is, like, almost ideal. Uh, I think we got to ship this one, though. That's pretty unfortunate. This hand is pretty perfect. All right. All right, this hand is great. We got our Frenzy. We got some early mana acceleration. You know, we're looking to kind of empty our hand and play Frenzy as soon as possible and then get the party rolling. ESPN Fantasy is not loading. Okay. I played a PPTQ yesterday. It was limited. Me and Nicole played. Lost in top four. My deck was really good. Wow. Sword Tooth also. This hand is great. So we have either Sword Tooth on turn two or Green Seeker Shock. We, we got to kill something. Feeling pretty good here. We are we are Duncan Dinoing. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do 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 do. Man, that uh that Zelda two soundtrack is real catchy. Runaway Steamkin, sure. All right, so we didn't draw land, which is fine. I mean, our, our hand should be pretty good this matchup. Um, we're going to kill the Steamkin right now. I doubt they can play, like, multiple spells to save it, but I'm just going to kill it. So we're looking for a land. If we have a land in our top two cards, we can cast Frenzy. Um, we're basically in right now. We have, we have our engine essentially online. So in this mono red deck, I have a lot of trouble killing this, uh, this Sword Tooth. So Lightning Strike the Green Seeker? Sure. Yeah, we're, we're in good shape here. We are in good shape. There's our land. Okay. Yeah, we're going to slam Frenzy. We could play Green Seeker, but then we're not doing anything else. And it's just time to play the Frenzy. We have a land on, a land on top. We can cast it. We don't? Okay. All right. So we should be able to start going nuts as of next turn. Phoenix is good. That's a good one. Um, we have two Lava Coils in our deck. Then we have um, we have ways to like kill it and then kill it like kill it with a you know a fight with fire or something. All right, that's the land. Second frenzy, not as exciting. All right, so first land drop, second land drop, dry green seeker. That's awkward. The mana could be better. Obviously, stomping around would be nice, but we're still at a healthy twenty here. Should be all right. Dismissive Pyromancer. <laughs> Treasure Map. So they're playing a Frenzy deck also. Um, Pyromancer is very good in Frenzy decks. So you can, again, clear the top of your deck. The big thing is making sure you don't hit land land with Frenzy. That's kind of what we're trying to do. That's what most of these Frenzy decks are trying to do. Alright, so we're at 16. Land. Land. Triple land. Wow. That's pretty lame. Alright. Um, I guess we smash him for five. That's pretty lame. Uh, yeah, stomping ground, you know. Top warrior. We're doing good. We're doing good. Got to sleep in a little this morning for the first time in like a week and a half, two weeks. Um, playing a little Dunkin' Dinos, got some football later. I have a lot of work to do later this afternoon. My big announcement next week. Got a little website work to do. A lot, a lot of stuff going on, you know. Don't play another Phoenix, please. Their own Frenzy. All right, that's... that's. We got a Frenzy battle. I think our deck is a better Frenzy deck than theirs is. 
Um, they're starting the game. They're starting with the Phoenix in play, though. So, and we do have a you know a five five. That's not nothing. And we're at the point now where we can cast literally anything off the top of our deck. So as long as we don't hit three lands in a row again, I think we'll be all right. And even if we do hit three lands in a row again, we do have like bane fires and stuff in our deck too. So. Karn might not be necessary. Um, I think Karn is fine in this deck, but it may not be needed. So I can see you just cutting the Karn completely. Um, we're playing a more dino-centric version of a deck after this. That's probably cheaper overall. Oh my god. Come on! Killing me! Alright, treasure map. Land. Lightning strike. Uh, strike is... Fine. I think I like. Yeah, I guess we'll just strike the Pyromancer. Field of Ruin. That's cool. We can field their uh, their land. Field. Llanowar Elves. Okay, Llanowar Elves. Another Llanowar Elves on top. We can't cast that one. Um, Pwn says in chat, you seem to be very unlucky with your frenzy. Eh. I'm not complaining. You shouldn't complain for me either, opponent. Um, how many lands do you play this turn? We played forest and field, so we have no more land drops. So we can just we can just attack for five and say go here. And we're gonna describe us. It doesn't matter. What we describe honestly. <gasps> hot cocoa's here. Hot cocoa's here. Come on, Nicole. Hi, Deliverer of hot cocoa. And maker of waffles. Ooh, those are big. Those are some big, uh, big marshmallows in there. I don't mess. Thanks, that's it's serious business. We're we're, we're uh, frenzying. It's one of my favorite mugs too. Oh, it's a Halloween sure, mug. I forgot. I left the door open, and then this was this is what happened. Oh God. <laughs> John's here too. The Hi, John. How's it going, bud? Who's this? Karn. Oh. Karn. 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 That Karn's wearing pants, though. This Karn is wearing pants. You have enough mana. You what? have enough mana. He's going. Why didn't you cast Karn? You have enough mana. Well, I, I actually can't cast the cards in my hand. That sounds awful. I don't know why. Because I have this card. What's this card do? You may <clears throat> look at the top card of your library anytime. You may pay, play the top card of your library. You can play the cards from your hand. Three and a red destroy expansion of frenzy. I gotta be a little louder, but, but good. So basically, I can't play cards in my hand, but the top card of my deck, I can play it. So I keep playing cards and playing cards and playing cards and playing cards. And I have this cool dinosaur here that lets me play extra lands. So I can go land, land, spell, 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 That's spell. Watch next turn. Next turn's going to be pretty sweet. That's what I'm saying. I, I was going to say, if you want to stick around for 30 seconds, we can watch Jim play half of yeah. his I'd, I'd imagine we're going to win next turn. I'd imagine. But, right, we're going to scry just because we want to... Um... Get rid of my no, we're going to leave it because I we, oh, we're, we're just going to draw a door hand anyway, I, but I want to put a counter on the treasure map. So, ah. so let's draw. All right, lightning strike. You know that card, right, John? Mm-hmm. All right, so... First things first, can I get an upstairs? Oh, can we get some upstairs in chat, please? Upstairs. Upstairs. And we're going to go, we're going to get a... Uh, Put on my, on my scoop, right? Yep, they scooped. High five. They scooped. Better than that. Oh, and an opponent also said that we seem to be very unlucky with our friends. Yeah, I don't know. Frenzy! <laughs> it's a frenzy! We never get to frenzy. Yeah, they're, they're, they didn't let's have fun there. All right, so they're playing. Uh, they're also playing a uh, version of the Frenzy oh, deck. Look at all the upstairs in chat. Upstairs. Look at all the Jim D wows. This all right, so we're gonna bring in our and Brontodons. Less Jim D, excuse me, than Jim D wows. Wow. Wow. Right. Come on. Come on, Jim D wows. All right, bring in the Brontodons, the Lava Coils. I already ate all my waffles. I'll tell Jim to have fun being firing everyone. Have, have fun upstairs. Amy. I'll have fun upstairs. Amy. Thanks, bud. <laughs> all right. Um. We can want, want, want these shocks, I think. Uh, we want the we want the brontodons. We want the lava coil. Green seeker dies, but also blocks well. I don't know how many shocks we want. They probably have like steam can and not much else. Let's, let's cut a shock. Cut the carns. Um, I don't know how interested we are in death gorge scavenger. Scavenger is good against the phoenix. Also, you can kill the phoenix and eat the 
the Phoenix out of the graveyard. Um, I think we're less interested in Banefire. It's something we really need, the Banefire effect. I could see some number of scavengers. Um... Big question is how much removal do we want? That's the big question. Also, the question is, um, yeah, are they playing Chain Whirler or not? Um, so are our Lano Elves vulnerable? Not really sure. I'm gonna cut the Bane Fires completely. I think. Bring some Scavengers. Um, yeah, I think our we are, we are like the frenzy deck. Like our deck is built to frenzy people. You know. Brontodon, Lava Coil, Shock. Maybe we cut a Lightning Strike. Yeah, I could have cut a with Fire. I don't think we really need our, our bigger... I mean, I mean, we need some, need some big payoff to pay for it, play for, I guess. All right, I think this is... Let me cut a map, too. Yeah, let's cut a map, too. Let's make our deck a little more of a, of a mid rangey deck. Um, typically, red-green big stuff decks are just good against uh, mono-red decks naturally, anyway. So... Well, I'm leaving in two shocks. I want to be able, I want to be able to kill Steamkin and the Pyromaster and stuff, and don't want to fall behind. I mean, I think Frenzy is playable in both Modern and Legacy. Honestly, oh boy, man, we are. This is like if I had to draw up a hand to draw every game, this would be it. So we are rocking and rolling. Does Death Gorge have any synergy with things? Not really. I mean, it's just. It just gains life and exiles their stuff. Don't shock me, don't shock me, don't shock me, don't shock me. Even if they shock, it's still fine. All right, whatever. As we have turn two, Green Seeker, turn three, Sword Tooth, turn four, Frenzy. Steamkin. All right, I might just kill the Steamkin, actually. Yeah, I think we're just going to kill the Steamkin. I don't want to risk things getting out of control. This card's obviously very, very good in the Frenzy deck and very good in general. And we could wait and see what they do. Yeah, we can wait now. I think three damage is enough where we're not scared of them, like, triple spelling or something. And then next turn we can go Green Seeker, Lanar Elf, or Sword Tooth. If we draw a land, we can go Sword Tooth, Lanar Elf. All right, another Steamkin. All right, that's annoying. All right, sweet. All right, so now we get to go Sword Tooth, play an extra land. Land or elf. And then next turn we can go we draw a land, Green Seeker Frenzy, otherwise just Frenzy. Alright, so they have Chain Wheeler on the deck. So I think for game three if we lose, I guess it'll be on the play. Might want to cut the uh the Land or Elves. New sub hype, Patty B. Patty B, you've subbed before. You look, your name looks familiar. If not, what's your name? Where are you from? And uh questions are in chat, welcome. Mirror, Mirror, I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. All right, we drew a land. All right, so... But I can't play Bolt Nets. I don't have enough mana. So let's um, just get the, get the Frenzy going, I guess. We're going we're gonna to take some, some damage next turn. All right. This could hurt next turn. We are a little shields down here. Ugh, let's tilt. The mana base is rough. God, if, we, if this was a red land, we could have cast this shock on the Steamkin. That would have been so good. All right. All right. I'm a little scared for this turn. This might be a bad turn for us. Triple Steamkin. Oh, God. Right. Top card is Shock. We can cast a Shock on our upkeep. I don't think we're going to. You got to keep an eye on the football stats because I got to fix my my DraftKings lineup and my regular lineup. I do a bet with my buddy uh, my buddy Jay. Um, we each make one DraftKings lineup each week, and uh, land land God triple land again. Uh, and we're one off cities blessing. Uh. Alright, I think we're dead this game. Um, we can't even, if, we, if we could field, too, we can't even field. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so we, me and my buddy each make a one DraftKings lineup each week, and we send it to each other. And whoever does better wins. And then whoever wins the most over the course of a season, um, that person and their 
significant other has to buy dinner for the other one, like a nice fancy dinner. Uh, I won last year, so me and Nicole got to eat delicious. Um, is it Brazilian barbecue? Korean barbecue? It was Brazilian, I think. Brazilian steakhouse. Where they come and just bring the food out, like the meat off the thing. And just, here's some meat. Here's some meat. Here's some meat. Um, and uh, it was really, really, really good. I'm currently down. Oh, good lord. I'm currently down. Uh, down 3 1, I think, this year so far. We skip week one. Fight with fire. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we can actually win here. We gotta hit like if we hit like lava coil into lightning into into mountain into lightning strike, we might be all right. But we're probably gonna die to our burn spell next turn anyway. So, all right, whatever. Let's just cast this on the next. The steam can dice to a shock. Let's start this thing. All right, there's a shock. So now we need mountain lava coil. God, so close. All right, we're dead. All right, that's fine. That game kind of, kind of didn't go too great for us. Patty's a longtime viewer, first time sub. Patrick from Salt Lake City. Favorite deck was Esper Dragons. Favorite card is Goblin Welder. Hey, Patrick, thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. All right, that game was obviously a little awkward for us. Um, they have Chain Whirlers. Do I want to cut my Llanowar Elves? Is the question. Um, on the play. I don't think so. I think on the play, they're still fine. Um, I think I want another shock, though. Can we cut a scavenger? I feel like killing that, killing a steamkin early is so important. I got a map, too. Map's a little slow. I think Brothdon's important to kill their frenzies. Um, it's also just a big body. It blocks everything. I'm going to cut another map. I'm not sure about this. Duncan. Duncan Dinos. I'd like to say I have coffee here, but I don't drink coffee. I just give coffee to dinosaurs. Yeah, it's the cube. I mean, Experimental Frenzy is probably one of the most fun cards printed in a really long time. We're going to keep. Uh, we might break off here. But. America runs on Brontosaurus. T? I'm, uh, T's okay. I like Ice T a lot. Oh, God, that was a bad draw. All right, well. Let's just draw some lands here, I guess. Yeah, it's all about hot cocoa. Ugh. All right, well, we got some work to do here. That's part of the work. Yeah, I just don't drink coffee. I don't know. Am I a weird American? I don't drink coffee and I don't drink beer. I drink hot cocoa. I drink liquor. I drink wine. Just no coffee, no beer. Am I a true American? Alright, so now we can cast Frenzy, but we have two kill spells in our hand um, that we're not casting otherwise. Uh, it's just like fast land etiquette, sort of, where it doesn't really matter in this deck, but there are, are decks where you have different tap lands also. So if you, if you go fast land on turn one, you can play a different tap land on two if you need to, like a Celestial Colonnade or something, and then still have you know, not be able to play it untapped later. It just, it doesn't really make a difference, honestly. But, um, so we play, we go, we go Frenzy, they go Phoenix. It's really bad for us. We're just going to ship. We'll just wait a turn. All right, well, that's not cool. Well, they've locked off their hand. Um, I think we're going to lock off our hand and just play Frenzy. And I think that if we're going to get into a Frenzy battle, our deck's better at it. So, we also have shots at lands here. Alright, so, let's go. Okay, that's fun. Alright, who is the better Frenzy deck? I think we are. I think we are. They got nothing. Frenzy, shock. Alright, let's go upstairs. Very happy with the shock over the Shivan Fires.
Mountain. All right, double land. All right, that's fine. If they play Phoenix, we can also end step pop this Lava Coil of the Phoenix and play another Frenzy, so... Hey! All right, so we're both spilling our coffee a little bit, you know? All right, land. Lightning Strike. Upstairs. Another Frenzy. Hey! All right, another Frenzy. Land. All right. And again, I think we're pretty far ahead here. All right, there's a phoenix. So now we can't lava coil the phoenix because we have two frenzies to kill. Um, let's see how this goes. Treasure map's a great one. That's a really, really good one. Rootbound crag, lamp return. Death gorge scavenger. That's pretty dope. Um, we can cast the scavenger, and then if we can kill the phoenix, we can eat it. So if we cast... Let's cast scavenger and hold priority because if we hit a removal spell we can kill the phoenix and then resolve the scavenger after the kill spell so we're gonna cast scavenger holding priority all right, our top card is green seeker all right that's fun so we'll just uh... let this come into play we'll eat a creature we'll play the green seeker I, we could have scribed there to look for a removal spell, but I don't, I don't think it's worth it. We, we had a castable card on top. I'll just keep casting cards, you know? Um, all right, so we're at 21 to their 12, and I'm feeling pretty good here. We get a scry. It um, doesn't really matter. We're going to keep the mountain on top, so we can't cast it anyway. All right, Steamkin's pretty good. They have eight cards in their hand. Lava Coil of a Scavenger. All right. I'm just going to F6 here. Seventeen. Field of Ruin. Lanor Elves. Green Seeker. Fight with fire. Uh, three, six, seven. We are not there yet as far as kicking it. I'm just going to cast it and kill the Steamkin. Just want to keep, keep the ball rolling here. Another fight with fire. Awkward. Um, so we, if we shoot the... The Phoenix doesn't really do anything. We could just scry this away. Um, we don't have any shuffle effects, though. So if we scry it away, it's like not coming back for a long time. Killing the Phoenix just, just does nothing because we don't have anything else to play. Um, putting it in our hand is not great either because we have two Frenzies in play and I don't want to sack them. I think we're just going to scry it away. Are we want, we want, I want to find a Sword Tooth. We've actually already played a land. Hmm. This is actually pretty interesting. We can't feel the room. They don't have they don't have any they don't have any non-basics in play. I'm gonna describe us away. Oh god, we're so lucky. We're so unreal. Um, all right, we're going to attack for one because this mountain's going to go into our hand anyway. We have no other possible plays. It doesn't really matter. You just... A lot of coffee. Luck comes naturally. All right. Sorry, Lanor Elf. Dry puts it into your hand. Alright, so Drawing Mountain's fine. Lano Ralph. Labrontodon. Sword Tooth? Oh, it's on now. Another Sword Tooth? No, it's really on. Oh, we're, we're short of mana, actually. Uh oh. Um, tilt. 
I guess we can pop this treasure map and just use our treasures to cast the sword Zooth. Yeah, I mean, it's three, four, yeah, all right. Leave us on top, make some treasures. Sword Tooth, top card, treasure map. All right. Well, it's just you five fives we have. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. MBD. I think we're, uh, I think we're pretty good here. We flexing right now. If you're soon here, welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. Happy football. Happy day off. Playing a little Dunkin' Dinos. We got over 600 fantastic viewers. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Oh, the third Frenzy. Yeah, Wayward Swordtooth plus Frenzy is good. Being able to play the extra lands and then also having extra mana so your Frenzies are better later. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Friendship is a treasure worth more than gold. Yes, if you have if you have multiple sword tooth in play, then you play play extra lands, yes. It's additional land drop, not you can play two lands a turn. If you're still welcome to the stream. My name is Adrian Davis. Hit that follow button, of course. You're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. We got Bernsey hanging out. Bernsey, who are you rooting for today? Who's your squad? I like the Jets. Ah! Bernsey would be a Jets fan. Just terrified of everything. Um, let's take a look. A little football Sunday. As I was saying, I'm in a fantasy league with um, a bunch of Magic pros. Here we go. I'm four and one. I got Todd Gurley. Twenty team league. Who am I playing this week? I played. Uh, I beat Jarvis U last week. This week I'm playing Steve Nagy. I'm not sure of um, his magic acclim, whatever that word is. But um, four and one. Am I in first place? Oh yeah, I'm in first place. Harry Corvacy is in here. Uh, Sheen Sarani, Kevin Jones, uh, Christian Calcano, BBD, uh, Steve Rubens, the the runner of the league. That's my squad, though. I got to keep an eye on uh, on drawing about Allison here. See if he's going to play today or not. Is he going to play today? He's questionable. That's on Monday. That's awkward. Oh, I'm playing Allison or I'm playing that guy. And I got my DraftKings lineup also. I got to make sure Eric Ebron is playing too. Like I said, I have a bet with my buddy, buddy Jay. We'll do a DraftKings lineup each week. And uh, we, uh, I'm losing. I'm down 3-1. Is Eric Ebron playing this week? Questionable. God, uh, the questionables, the Q word. Gotta hate the Q word. Did I have players on Thursday? Yeah, I, got, I had Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz. Oh, well, however good those last starting hands were, this one is uh, obviously not that good. It's fine. This will play. Bottom that. Who's he, BG? Ebron? I mean, they're playing against the Jets, so... Jets stink. Ooh, Mountain. Okay. Island. Control deck? If this is a control deck, our hand's pretty bad for a control matchup, but... They play in Modern Storm here. Turn one op, turn two steam vents. They get remand. All right, it's Dryad Green Seeker. You got some work to do. You got green to seek, my friend. Aethermax, sweet. Yeah, that deck's awesome. I made the Aethermax. I made the graphics last night for um for the YouTube video. Let's see if I can find that. Right. I made the graphics for your uh, the random number generator videos. If you like my YouTube thumbnail game, put a Mr. Destructoid in chat. Yeah, there you go. Pretty funny, right? And then for the version 2.0, we got that one. It's good, right? A little behind the scenes on the Jim Davis stream. Good stuff. Lava Coil, it's dead. All right, it looks like they're not really, they're not actually playing Control because they're playing Radical Idea, which is pretty radical. Um... Looks like they're probably playing some sort of like spells deck. 
like the Drake or something. It's snowing in Denver. It's supposed to stop snowing around 2 or 3 p.m. So that's before game time. So in my DraftKings league, I stacked uh, Gurley, Cooks, and Goff. Goff. So, but yeah, Todd Gurley is a, is a monster. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, I might have a counterspell. I mean, you gotta just cast it though. Could be a thousand year storm deck. Could be. Yeah, I mean, we, we gotta resolve the sword tooth, which seems hard, but. Oh, yeah. Alright. We got seven permanents. Yeah, winter's coming quick. Fall, like. Fall came in like a like a wrecking ball. Alright, sure. Blink of an eye. Syncopate? I mean they they had syncopate for three, it didn't matter. Ooh, an arc light phoenix deck? Good thing I have this lava coil in my hand. This card's sweet. I like this card a lot. Is there a vi viable blue Karn Thopter build in standard? I don't know. Uh, honestly. Radical idea. They have a one drop. Either bring the Phoenix back. Right? Um, that's fine. We just lava coil it. Take three lava coil. Opponent's playing some weird spell. Blue red spells deck. Field of Ruin. Alright. I mean... We have uh, five, six, seven, eight permanents. Yeah, if they play like that Drake next turn, it's kind of annoying because we can't kill it yet, but... Royal! New sub. Royal, what's your name? Where are you from? How long are you playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And your puppy name, please, for those who don't know. I don't want a dog. My stepson and fiance want a dog. I told him if he get a thousand subs, I get him a dog. So. What the hell is that? Yeah, there aren't a ton of good cheap artifacts in the format. Frenzy. That's That'll play. I'll take Karn. Sign me up for Karn. And then I think we're going to go... It'll be minus, it goes to three, dies to lightning strike. We're going up here. We have three, six, seven, we have eight. If this if this was the, the tenth permanent for sword tooth, I might make a token. But I think we're gonna go up. Green seeker or shock? I would love green seeker, but they're probably gonna give me shock. Yeah. Alright. Not a bad spot to be in. The dog sub count is at 537. So we're over the halfway mark. We need a thousand subs for a puppy. Saxophone solo, everyone keeps saying that, but. All right, Chemistry's Insight, sure. And they are. Sp the problem with these blue red decks is they usually spin their wheels like really, really, really hard. They don't always go anywhere. Like draw a card, 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 die. Like, definitely have trouble killing a 5-5. Five five. Definitely have trouble dealing 6 damage to a Karn. So, we're rolled up pretty well here. Um, they can't remove a Frenzy. I guess they have Blink of an Eye. But, what's my favorite Tier 1 standard deck right now? This deck right here. Nah, I'm not sure. I, haven't, I, I'm a, I don't really know. I think this deck is good, though. I think this deck has serious legs. I'm pretty sure we 4-1 the first league with it. We might have 3-2'd. Uh, but I think, we, I think we punted both of our losses if we did 3-2. Um... I think this deck's actually pretty sweet. I think that Frenzy plus Swordtooth is actually a really, really good engine. What's up, Squid Squad? Flashback, radical idea, all right. All right, Royal is Albert from Connect, Connect I Cut. Started playing with Starter 99. Wrote the song back in 99. 
Uh, favorite card is Venser. Two puppies, Teddy Bear, and Charlie. Thanks, Albert. Would I play this at, a, at an open or a GP? I'm not sure yet. I, I want to work on it more, but honestly, possibly. There's a real engine here. Um, okay. So now map plus another thing is City's Blessing. We can go map. We could also just like car in this green seeker and cast it. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Could make a construct also. We make a construct, it goes to four, so it's pretty hard to kill. So yeah, mommy construct actually. Mm. You know what? Let's let's map and take a look and see. Try and inf inform our decision a little bit. Top card's a forest. Let's put that in the bottom. Construct to be a 2-2. Two -two. They have six cards in hand. Alright. So I can I can we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine permanents. We can either put Green Seeker in our hand and cast it. Which is actually a pretty good map. Yeah, I think Green Seeker's better than a bit of construct here. Green Seeker plus Scry is pretty cool. I think we're in pretty good shape here. These marshmallows are so big in my hot cocoa. What else does this deck need? I'm not sure. It's just the right build, I think. Niv Mizzet? Ooh, Electromance. They are playing Modern Storm. Alright. Discarding a Phoenix. We're going to shock this Electromancer. I only have one red, so if I want to shock the Phoenix, yeah, I'm going to just let, the, let, let, let this live. Right, they, they could shock the Construct. Like, the Construct isn't even that good, so... Thanks for following everyone. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button, of course. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sunday, Sunday. Blinkham and I kicked targeting Wayward Sword Tooth. Mm. Favorite standard deck? Honestly, this one. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's good enough yet, but I have not had not had more fun playing standard than I have with this deck. All right, so they kill my stuff. That's fine. We have plenty, plenty more stuff. Yeah, they can get it back. Whatever. All right, so upkeep. We want to cast Sword Tooth. We can Scry, we have Shock. Let me Scry. Now card the Mountain. Bottom that. Draw. I can buy Green Seeker. That card plays. Um, we're gonna plus our Karn. If we minus it, it dies too easily and. I want to just play. I would like to have a land also, so I can go Green Seeker, Sword Tooth, and have Shock up. And Karn Plus usually gets you land, so they have one mana Essence Scatter up. It's true. Could just kill the Electromancer. What do they reveal here? A map and a Frenzy. Wait, we have a Frenzy under our Karn. <whistles> okay, so they could scatter the the Sword Tooth. That is true. So I think given that, we should just kill the Electromancer. If they get back the Phoenix again, whatever. It's not even that good. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Right. Next time we flip map and we can get Frenzy back, or we can uh, we can make make a construct. It's actually big. We'll see. Sunday, Sunday, da -da. football. Sunday, Sunday, football. Their deck seems cool, but it seems very reliant on Phoenix. They draw another Phoenix here, we could be in trouble. And just like, if you've played, yeah, 
All right, they did not find another Phoenix. That's good. Best control deck in standard. I played blue white control in Columbus and really liked it. Uh, it's possible Jess guy is better though. What's the engine we're talking about with this deck in Frenzy? When you have Frenzy in play and you have Sword Tooth in play, you just play your entire deck basically, because you can you don't you don't hit if you hit a land clump, you can play multiple lands, and you use cards like Treasure Map and stuff to clear the top of your deck. Um, so you just kind of go off and play a bajillion things every turn. It's pretty sweet. What's up, Fireball? Welcome, my friend. If this is your first time here, raise your hand in chat. And then take that hand down, hit the follow button, and put your hand back up again. That was three spells, right? Yeah, so they can uh, get back their Phoenix. I feel like they're going to deck before they kill us. They have 25 cards left. Upkeep. We want to cast Frenzy. Um, I could have the gate, I guess. But it doesn't seem super likely. We're not going to scry. I'll just draw a card. We're happy with most things, I think. Alright, it's a land. So now we can we can minus and get back Frenzy and cast it and then start doing our thing. Um... Or we lose our Karn. Getting Frenzy in play is like the most important thing by a mile. Um, we we'll want to cast this treasure map also. We want to cast the cards in our hand, obviously, before playing Frenzy. So we have four, three. Map gives us treasure. Um, we're at 17 life. That's pretty healthy. Karn is going to have no more use once Frenzy's in play. So, yeah, let's... Go land. Let's play Green Seeker and see what they do. Let's map Lightning Strike. And put that on top. Holy crap, dude! And flip. We'll play another map and then play. F well, now we just play Frenzy. We can just cast the the Lightning Strike. Frenzy Strike on top. Or we can play map and then play frenzy and then not be able to play strike. I'm not even sure if I want to attack. I don't know if I want to expose my sword tooth to uh, a block and then kill. Like they have so much trouble killing a five toughness creature. We just don't even want to attack, I don't think. Um, yeah, I think we're going to play the map and then play frenzy. I suppose I could have Syncopate here, which would really suck, but... Of all the people in the world, you are one of them. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate that. Everyone just show some love for Adam. Throw a little money at me. Reminds me of the shrine in Diablo. Wherever you go, there you are. I haven't seen any counter spells. Yeah, I, I, I think they're more proactive, so... It's hard to put counter spells in a deck with this card and other like cards like it because you need to be playing things proactively, not reactively. So they say you can pay for two because they have Electromancer. So now we have Upkeep Strike and we get to just go nuts. Insight. I mean, they're they're gonna go nuts here with Electromancers, but Like if they get all four Phoenix going, like they, they, like they only they all, they've only found one Phoenix this game. Oh, they found two. We killed one. All right, never mind. End on some amount of ionize, maybe. I mean, we're all set up now. They should not be able to really remove Sword Tooth or Frenzy, except for like bouncing it. All right, sure. It's pretty good. Get to bounce it. Can't cast it again. I think we're well enough set up though that we just don't care. 
Could be dead here. That's a little ambitious. All right. They've cast many, many chemistry's insights. Uh, block skis. You got a shock, you got a shock. We got map, we got cove, we got a, we have a treasure. I'm not too worried about being able to go off here, even have a shuffle off field of ruin. Oh, resub. What up? What's up, Clock? Thanks for the resub. 13 months. All right, we're going to kill the uh, the Electromancer. I don't really see a point killing the Phoenix. It's probably coming back next turn. All right, let's kill this off the top of our deck. The top card is Treasure Map. Okay, that's fine. Let's draw that. Then a Forest. Another Lightning Strike. Let's kill the other Electromancer. And another Frenzy. I think we're going to, um, let's see. We can Treasure Cove and draw. We can Field of Ruin. We're actually light on red mana. We can also just Scry. I have a million options here. Um, I kind of like Field. Field is minus two mana. Let's see. So we Field. We have one, two, three. We have four mana left. Huge Jacked Man. Thanks to Reset. Appreciate that. All right. Um, already played a land. I have three cards in hand. What a field. I'm not sure about this one. Get a mountain shuffle. Top cards forest. So now I think we we can draw with cove or we can scry. It's probably scry. Well, now I guess we can't play anything anyway, so this is fine. All right, we fizzled ish for a turn. We've already played a land. This is fine. All right, we could draw could draw the card here and try and draw a shock. We've already cast two though, so point of drawing is just to clear the top of my deck. a thing. Might need to find a... a fight with fire or something. How do we feel the ruin? Dryad Green Seeker. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. So if we cast this, we can't kick, I mean, can't kick Fight with Fire, it costs 9. So, alright, I'll cast Green Seeker. Another Frenzy. Alright, let's itch this to the bottom with our map. Man, we bricking. We are straight bricking. Uh, Cove cost two, field cost two. All right. This game was looking pretty good. I, I we kind of just falling apart here. The Phoenixes are pretty good. Like, you know, they are very resilient. Top card mountain. Obviously, the bounce spells are very good against us. Oh my god. I mean, that's pretty gross. Think we're uh, think we're in trouble here. Frenzy is Zusa Tower Tracker. I mean, Tracker is a little redundant with Frenzy, right? We can't play the cards in our hand, folks. Shiv and fire. All right. That's kind of a tilt. What's up, Rick? 
Rick, you still on vacation? That was tough. That was tough. Um, what do we want here? Definitely these... Do you want the scavengers, actually? Scavenger gets rid of Phoenix and gains life, which are both things we're interested in. What are we not interested in? Um, lava coil seems important to kill the Phoenix. I guess Dryad, Green Seeker dies. I don't think we want fire, fire, Fiery Cannonade. Um, they just return the thing anyway. And like, yeah, that's not good. Working in Philly. Maybe we cut Lantern Elves. Um, they have so many shock effects in their deck. They, they, they showed a Shivan Fire and Shock. So, like, maybe just cut it and, like, we're not going to be in a huge rush anyway. Yeah, Scavenger hits Jumpstart cards, too. I kind of like this. Um, obviously, Scavenger also dies to Shock, but it still gains value if it eats something. Um, a third Bane Fire is probably not necessary. I think we're fine here. I think the Bane Fires are good. We don't want Candidate. Everyone's got to chill. What's up, Hex? Uh, my hair's growing long, right? Look at this. What do you guys think? Should I grow it out? Um, yeah, I think I like this. It is a little appealing to maybe have Lanaroff on the play, but... I guess Fight with... Maybe, you know what? Maybe Fight with Fire is overkill. Because they might have Counterspells post-board, and it doesn't really kill anything super effectively. Maybe we just leave the Lana Rolves in and cut the fight with fires and cut one lightning strike. They're probably gonna have a few counter spells. So yeah, I think I like this actually. Turn turn two scavenger, turn two sword tooth on the play seems great, so why why do I bring in cannonade folks? It's a three mana kill a creature or two. We already have plenty of kill spells. It kills our own Lana Elves. Like, they just recur the Phoenix anyway. Like, it doesn't do anything. It's just a lot of mana to do, to do not enough. We already have removal spells. You know, like, they, they seem to have eight creatures in their deck, four of which come back. It also kills our Scavenger, sometimes. Obviously, we can pop the Scavenger, but it just doesn't seem good. We want to Lava Coil the Phoenixes and shock the other guys. Call it a day. All right, keep. Hands good. All right, Lana or Elves, you stayed in the deck. Make your presence known. Almost cut you. Almost cut you. Three drop. They get to start spinning their wheels. Oh, they killed my guy. All right. And a shock. All right. Did I cut, uh, cut Karn? I did not cut Karn. All right, good. Might be a little heavy on removal. Maybe we should have cut some of the lightning strikes. I cut the fight with fires, but... niv is good. That's fair. I did not consider that one. niv is very, very good. They might board that in. Map's good. You can buy a map. Map's so good. This card's great. Now that a braid's gone. Good stuff. Good stuff. Try to course. Yeah, I think we're a little heavy on removal here. Bottom. Scry. Bottom. Let's search for treasure. Frenzy. So, I think we're going to say go here. Um... 
They have two Phoenixes in the bin? Oh, wow. Um, hmm. We play Frenzy, they bring back, bring back both Phoenixes and probably just die. All right, I'm going to just say go here and attack. Probably shock one Phoenix, untap, lava coil the other, flip map. Um, two Phoenixes are a very fast clock. Let's chill a little bit. What a radical idea. Hi. Not yet, folks. Have patience. Have patience. Electromancer. Um. Huh. Tormenting voice discarding a mountain. I think we're actually going to shock the Electromancer. Because I, I want to Lava Coil one of the Phoenixes anyway. So, we strike one, Lava Coil the other, which is going to beat one Phoenix. Football! Bones deck seems cool. Radical idea of discarding insight. It's thankfully not a uh, another phoenix. Welcome aboard. All right, so take three here. We're gonna upkeep scry because we're in a lava coil anyway. So, do you want to land? Let me do on a land actually. Now we can just go Lava Coil and Frenzy. Let's top that. So land, Lava Coil, Frenzy. Top card is Lana Rolf. Is Lana Rolf better than a treasure? I think no. So I think we're just gonna leave that. Phoenix is good. I mean, these sorts of recursive creatures are always, almost always good. You know, the, the trigger's not that hard to do, and having haste is pretty huge, too. Um, just like Vengevine, being able to come back immediately and have an effect on the board buys back the tempo you waste from having to cast a bunch of spin your wheel spells. All right, just put Tormenting Voice. We've been kind of lucky they haven't drawn multiple Phoenixes. Like, they're really tearing through their deck. Um, unfortunately... Matchup wise, I guess this matchup seems bad for us because we're not we're not pressuring them enough to take advantage of the fact that they're spinning their wheels a lot. Like if we were playing like Steel Leaf Champion or Goblin Chain Whirl or, or just like aggressive cards or Green White Tokens, putting stuff in play and pressuring them, they would have less time to set all this stuff up. But because we're kind of just like setting up our own game, they're able to do that. So we have been lucky they haven't hit like a crazy triple Phoenix hand. All right, it's on, it's frenzy time. First ball up, forest. Sword tooth, oh God, don't have essence scatter. Don't you dare have essence scatter. Okay, where's your map? Blink of an eye, tar God. Also, blink of an eye is so good against us. That's really, really annoying. All right. So now we can't play the land off the top of our deck. Blink of an eye is is a what? Two mana, two mana vindicate against us. Ugh, that's annoying. All right, we draw a card. Try and find it. Yeah, let me draw. We can draw. No, I guess we just scry instead of draw. Yeah. Bottom. Death Gorge Scavenger? Dope. Uh, let's cast Scavenger. 
And a lava coil. Oh, we're so close. That sucks. We only have one mana left. All right. They have uh, a chemistry inside we can eat. Tilt. There is no phoenix to eat. I'd like to eat a phoenix. I'm sure, Death, sure Deathcore Scavenger would love to eat a phoenix. Just like Burnsy would love to eat a phoenix, wouldn't you, Burnsy? Eh, he's sleeping. It's Sunday. Burnsy can sleep in. It's fine. Lava Coil Scavenger. All right. Marari Conjecture? Yeah. This doesn't seem great for us. That's such a tilt. It's, it's top of our hand. Uh, should we just draw it? We might need to pop our frenzy, honestly. I get Burnsy cards to eat? Yeah, I do. Top card Sword Tooth? Ooh, wow. Hey, Burnsy. Show off for everyone. We have a lot of viewers. You gotta do your job. I know you want to sleep in. I know it's Sunday, but here. Have a psychic talk. Have a psychic talk, bud. There you go. Good job, Burnsy. Alright, so we're gonna cast this sword tooth. Top card lightning strike. Alright. That's a start. Strike the Electromancer. Green Seeker. We, this is, it's a sorcery, unfortunately. They have another bounce spell. Oh, come on. Don't do it, opponent. Don't you do it. Best card in the format against us. Oh, they, re oh, they returned it. I'm so dumb. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. They bounced. They, they, they took the blink of an eye back. All right. Uh, I was feeding Burnsy. Okay. Now we're in trouble. Um... I think we're dead, folks. Forest. Mountain. Treasure map. Bottom. Lightning strike? That's not bad. I can kill Phoenix. I can return a sorcery. Alright, this actually isn't that bad. Despite this not seeming like a great matchup and things not going right for us, we're, we're doing okay here. Yeah, the Frenzy might need to get sacked at some point. We're going to bring back Chart, of course. Morning, Rogue. We'll see what, we'll see what our next few cards turn up. We, we're able to kill the Phoenix in combat here, so they can't recur at this turn. And then hopefully we'll find a Death Gorge Scavenger, or, you know, we have... It's the beginning of combat. We're going to kill this before they attack, so they can't Chart, of course. We're flipping map next turn, also... We have a lot. We have a lot going on still. You know, our engine is rocking. Top card, land or elves. All right, so let's play land or elves, and land. Oh boy, hello. Sword tooth is back. All right. Sword tooth, shock. I kind of want to keep the shock just to kill a phoenix, honestly. That is a kind of a waste of our frenzy term. We, we could definitely do more stuff. Eh, screw it. Just keep going. Shock you. Treasure map. Land. Land. I know right lands now. Right, so now let's put this land on. Land in our hand. Another land. Let's scry this land away. Top card, land or elves. Let's play Land or Elves. Dryad Green Seeker. I'd like to have some way to defend ourselves from being killed next turn. Like a Shock or a Strike on top of my deck. I've already cast a lot of those, though. Another Frenzy. Let's bottom this. Field of Ruin. Rattle Lands. All right. There's a, definitely a chance we die next turn. Um, this thing's going off. I can copy stuff. Um, but what are you going to do? If we're dead, we're dead. You know? 
We've done our part, but we don't interact terribly well with our opponent's deck. Our right of strikes. All right. Strike three, we're out. Chart, of course. Yeah, I mean, they find they find some more Phoenixes and kill us here. I guess I gotta find all the Phoenixes, right? I was looking for, hoping to find our Death Gorge Scavenger in all of that. That was kind of the plan. Death Gorge Scavenger, um, you know, so we could we can kind of go and eat this Phoenix and do some stuff and gain some life and so on, but just gotta hope we don't die here, basically. Go, Burnsy. And we were at the mercy of our opponent. Radical idea, copy it. Sip some hot cocoa. Nice fall mug here. Hey folks, you're tuning in. Welcome to the stream. We have almost 900 awesome viewers. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. A little pre-football magic. We're playing Duncan Dinos. It's my awesome Wayward Swordtooth Frenzy deck. We uh, played a, played last week. Uh, deck is awesome. It's our second version of a deck. If you haven't followed, make sure you follow on here on Twitch. If you haven't followed on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. And uh, we got a lot of Duncan Dinos on today. We got this version. And they're playing a more dinosaur-centric version after this. We're 1-0 in this league. And they're going to... Blink of an eye, kicked, bounced multiple things. That's not even that bad for us. That was not a bad turn, all things considered. That turn could have gotten much worse for us. And they didn't attack. Looks like they misclicked, they didn't attack. Green Seeker. Okay. We could pop the Frenzy, and then Lava Coil, the Phoenix, and then cast Double Sword Tooth, and then just like do a lot of stuff. We have a lot of mana to work with. Maybe we just cast the Green Seeker and start there. We do want to find Death Gord Scavenger if possible. All right, what's let's, let's cast Green Seeker first. We have three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have fourteen mana to do everything we need to do. That's four. We have ten mana to cast spells. So we could just cast all three. Actually, hold on. We could just go. We have fourteen mana. So that's wait. Hold on. Uh, 5, 6, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 16 mana. If we pop it, we have 17. We play a land from our hand. So we have 13 mana to work with. That's 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're going to pop the thing. Um, They didn't kill us last turn. It means they probably don't have Lightning Strike in their deck. And they'll, they'll be down to 2 Phoenix to kill us with. Um, Welcome aboard. Just love the idea of finding a the dinosaur that eats things, you know? But all right, I mean, we're going to pop it, I think. Let's do it. All right. Op the Frenzy. Oh, it's true. Sword just plays more lands. That is true. Oh, actually, you know what? That's right. I'm going to play this, this Green Seeker because each Sword Tooth gives us all... We have, we have three land drops also. I'm playing this. Let's get one shot at the top card of our deck. It's a Bane Fire. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... And they're at 14. Damn it. We're one short. Right? And two. I guess we'll just draw it next turn, though. That's fine. Yeah, right. Pop Frenzy. We're good. Pop Frenzy. Play Sword Tooth. Play Land. Play Land. Play Sword Tooth. Play Land. Um. The Banefire obviously needs to tap the Elves. So I was counting the elf mana. Uh, do a red. Lava coil this thing. Play another sword tooth. And yeah, this is fun. So the, yeah, the game's just over next turn. We just bane fire them for the full 20 or whatever. They gotta kill us this turn. If they, if they couldn't kill us last turn, I'd be very, very surprised if they kill us this turn. I mean, they're going to draw probably their whole deck. What do they have? Oh, no, they don't have any um, of the draw twos in their graveyard. Marari Conjecture? All right. Yeah, attacking with the 5-5s five also might work too. But Bane Fire on top seals the deal for sure. Mm. 
Blink of an eye is so good. <laughs> Alright, get your upstairs ready in chat. We're about to light them up. A little Sunday morning fireball. Sunday morning wake up call. Lava coil targeting Green Seeker. I gotta see some upstairs in chat, please. Upstairs in chat, please. Yeah, when Blink of an Eye is Vindicate, it is quite good, you know? All right. That's game two. Let's get him game three. Um, we were saying we want to change sideboarding a little bit, maybe? We... I don't think so. Death Gorge Savager seems really good in this format. Like, really good. There's a lot of graveyard things happening with the control decks, with the mid-range decks. And then it's also good against Mono Red because it gains life. This card seems great. Um, yeah, I think we're going to leave it as is. Nah, we're not trying to kill Conjecture. Like, Conjecture's whatever. Swap Karn for Brontodon? I think Karn's still fine. I still want to pay off, you know? Oh, that's annoying. Stomping Ground, where art thou? We're still going to keep. We have a lot of Forest in our deck, you know? Stomping Ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn two, Charter Course, discard Phoenix. Electromancer. That's awkward. Um, I don't really want to cast Scavenger for zero value. Um, I think we're just going to play Atlanta Rolf and say go. Like, I just play Scavenger. They just shock it. Okay. Just don't... They, they're definitely going to get the Phoenix and play this turn. All we need is two more spells. So everything costs one. Alright, thank god they didn't discard another Phoenix. And turn 3 Phoenix is pretty good. Alright. It's not bad. I mean, it's funny because I thought we might have had too much removal in our deck. Um, and now it's looking like we don't have enough. Karn plus or Lana Werewolf Scavenger. I feel like we need to hold the Scavenger for um, for like a turn we kill this and then Scavenger it immediately. I'm going to play Karn. Let's plus draw a card to try and draw their fire a little bit. Revealed cards are Sword Tooth, Field of Ruin. We're going to get the field. I think we're dead this game. I think it, turn three Phoenix... Like we have what, like three shocks, three strikes, two lava, three three lava coils. The phoenix was never in the graveyard. They they discarded it and, and put it in play the same turn. You can only complain about the clock if you use my subscriber only clock emote. Blink of an eye. Lava coil. Oh my god. All right. This hand is. This hand is like. A modern deck, basically. Oh my god, I think we're just dead here. That's annoying. <sighs> Top two, Sword Tooth Forest. <sighs> Tilt. Doesn't seem like a bad matchup, so what are you going to do? Please attack Karn. Nope. Thanks for following, my friend. Can we get our opponent's list? We've seen their entire deck, practically. Alright, now we draw Shock. We might actually be in this game now. So, hold your breath. 
or don't hold your breath, or I don't know, whatever. Some sort of saying that makes sense. Um, we shock, we scavenger, we land our elf. We make a construct. It's only a 1-1. One, one. We still make it, I think. Eat this, gain two life. Just dope. Land our elves. Construct. Go. They get back a sorcery. They get back their lava coil or their charter cores. They get the killer scavenger, which is fine. We can double block the electromancer if we have to. We're at seven life. We have frenzy map in our hand. This could be okay. They blink the token, sure. Sure. I don't mind going to five. New sub, PMC, what's up my friend? What's your name, where you're from? Questions are in chat. Welcome. Attacking Karn, sure. We have a, a sword tooth to counter on it, right? All right, give me that sword tooth. Sword tooth. Land, land, frenzy. All right, here we are. It's go time at seven life. We're gonna leave us back to chump block if we have to. They get to copy all their spells next turn. Can we do it? Can we survive? And they're going to do a million things next this turn. Like a million and a half. Tormenting voice. Discarding steam vents. Alright. So despite this being a, a, a seemingly bad matchup, we've been doing pretty well, honestly. Paul from Scotland. Sweet. Favorite card is, is Token. My man Ragavan. Pirate monkey. What's not to like? Paul, thanks my friend. Appreciate it. Once again, subscribing to the stream is the best way to support me as a magic player and as a streamer. It's my full-time gig, so I do for a living. Thank you all for your support very, very much. They, they don't think I don't think they're playing Lightning Strike. Um, we have not seen any Lightning Strikes. They discarded one Phoenix so far, so that is a problem. Um, they have ten cards in end. Like, again, we just, we don't really interact in a meaningful way with their deck. Uh, the, the Graveyard Eater is very good. We only drew one in both of our post-board games um, and never really got to use it super effectively. It's possible we want more of those, honestly. Oh my god. Double Blink. Blink of an Eye is also insane against us. So, not an ideal scenario, but we put up quite a fight. All right, we're dead now. Put up quite a fight in these games, so I'll take it. I'll take it. I think this, I think this game also... Oh, going to show us the hand, too? Thanks for, thanks for that. We appreciate that. Still had all these. Um, all right, so we're one-on-one. One. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. This is our Duncan Dinos deck, uh, built around Frenzy and Swordtooth. Um, I think that uh, this card is really, really good in this format. I kind of want a fourth. Um... We're playing this version of a deck, and then another version that's more dino-centric that has these main deck. I think this card's really, really good in this format. Um, just lost your blue-red spells. Couldn't really interact with them in any way. Still almost won, um, but we'll see. I mean, they, they had Phoenix come back also, so we were dead. Dunkin' Dinos, because Dunkin' Donuts makes coffee, and Experimental Frenzy is all about coffee. It's the coffee card. On the play... Banefire, Coil, Frenzy, any land, any green land, any land's honestly fine for Green Seeker. This hand's kind of loose, though. Uh, turns out coffee is the weird ant of invention. So the flavor of his deck is literally just giving a bunch of dinosaurs a, a bunch of coffee. I guess one dinosaur a bunch of coffee, but... Alright, um... I'm 
a mulligan. Sweet. Keep skis. Banefire can go to the bottom. We'll, we'll, we'll find you later, friend. This hand is dope. Planes. Leonin Vanguard? Uh, okay. Do we Lava Coil this Leonin Vanguard just to play our car next turn? That seems really bad. This card seems terrible. Control th Oh, at the end of combat, if you control... Th oh, you only have to control three or more creatures? I thought it was like if you attack with a number of creatures. Uh, I think we should cast this. We want to get Frenzy online, just empty our hand. Coffee. Night of Grace, sure. Forest. So we cast Karn or Frenzy? Um... I think Karn. I mean, I mean, I think Frenzy. Karn doesn't really do much. Karn is more of like a card to use when we don't have Frenzy. Just cast the damn Frenzy. Okay. Karen. My phone auto also auto-corrects Karen to Karen. Alright, here we go. Forest. Forest. God damn. Fine. No worries. It's kind of better than I thought it was. Easy block. We have plenty of mana. Pretty happy to trade off cards here. Plenty of mana and infinite card draw engine. So. Alright. Lightning strike. Done. Strike him up. Fight with fire. God. Stomping ground, where art thou? So we're both getting a little screwed this game. Our opponents obviously mana screwed. We're uh, you know we're, we're kind of breaking a little bit, but there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Give him the old frenzy. History of Benalia. A little late. Forest. Bane fire. We're gonna kill this knight. Just keep the ball rolling here. And a land. <clears throat> Obviously, without Wayward Sword Tooth, it's not as good, but. What's this? Four mana. Is Aurelia? No. Convoke? Venerated Loxodon? That card's pretty good. Dryad Green Seeker, that's a good one. Lightning Strike, that's a good one. Frenzy, that's lame. Alright. ESPN update, what happened? Wouldn't you like to know? We're at the point now we can probably just pop the Frenzy next turn and just fight with fire the, the Loxodon, and next turn just go Karn Frenzy again. So. I guess it's fine. Take a four ball. What's up, Barry? What's up, my friends? Benelish Marshall post combat. Interesting. Interesting. Mountain. Forest. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna um maybe we kill the Marshall now. We pop frenzy, we have four mana left. I guess we can green seeker. Clear of his top card. Yeah, let's do that actually. Another land. <whistles> Alright. Let's pop Frenzy and let's kill the Loxodon because we have plenty of lightning strikes to kill the Marshal. Yeah, the point of Sword Tooth is obviously to minimize these land clumps. But this, this, this honestly isn't that bad. We just have seven cards in our hand. Another Frenzy. We got Karn. 
Maybe maybe Karn's not great. Karn's obviously nice in conjunction with um, heroic reinforcements. Oh, that's a block. Uh, Karn's obviously nice with um, treasure map, but oh my god. Uh, four, eight. I don't think Karn does anything here. I should just probably play the Frenzy. Don't break, please. Treasure map's good. Rootbound crag. I think we need this blocker. Hey. <laughs> nice. All right. I think we're all right here. Oh, I know because we're, we're gonna draw this. God damn it! Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh my god. All right, we we lost. We're dead. I guess card's pretty good. That is quite the attack. All right. So. Not a great draw for us. Um, we double landed a few too many times, but we should be fine here. This is where our cannonades come in. Um, yeah, that was that was something else. I'm not gonna lie, that was definitely something else. Uh, cannonade. <sighs> Let me cut the Carns. I'm gonna cut Lana Ralphs so as we're bringing in cannonades. Um, Bring a lava coil. We're gonna bring the uh, the scavengers too. I think we can go like scavenger pump the scavenger cannonade if we have to. Cut a bane fire. Thanks, Bmets. It's fine. I think we should be fine here. I'm not too worried. Brontodon for history. You don't want to waste history. Already made a token at that point. You don't want to kill history. It's fine. Sarkin better than Karn? I think possibly neither. Uh, well, this is a hand. I mean, I suppose it's what we signed up for, right? No, map is insane. Map is like the card you want because you want to kill stuff, map, kill stuff, scry, kill stuff, scry, draw cards. Mountain, Vanguard. I guess we'll set up for a cannonade. It's no reason to shock yet. Sword Tooth is nice. Is there a reason you're playing land because you cast before you cast Frenzy? Well, you can't play the land out of your hand once you have Frenzy in play. And unless you have a lot of mana already in play, you can't cast the card on top of your deck anyway, so. Jaya is too expensive. What does the heavy dino dinosaur version look like? Oh man, Dondo Vanguard's so good. I think we're in trouble here. Dondo Vanguard is like the nut card against our hand. Oh my god. Alright, well. We get to cannonade and make them pay a bajillion life. But if they're smart, they'll just pay it. So it's not even that good. Yeah. This card is real good. Forgot about that card. I mean, I guess we just cannonade again, and we have two shocks in our hand, so if they try and, uh, you know, it's not actually the end of the world. Right, we have two shocks, so... Now what? How much do you pay? Probably pay for one, maybe. And then we're just planning to draw another burn spell. Alright. History. Forest. I think I like sword tooth. Sword tooth go. 
We could also just fight with fire or something. We fight the Vanguard, they probably won't pay. Um, just fight both. Like, I think it's highly doubtful they pay the four again. So, I guess we just, all right, let's fight. Not the ideal use of fight with fire, but. Playing dinosaurs just, just doesn't do anything. Um, like maybe they pay? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Another history? Jeez. We can just fight. They have, they have, so now they have a history coming off of uh, of party time here. It's not how you want to use our spells, really, but let's just kill this now. I don't want them some sort of trick or something. They have that like that lightning helix pump spell or something. They're out. Ooh, death Gorge scavenger, sweet. Um, all right, let's scavenger. Eat something. Okay. Matchup seems kind of tough. Our opponent's deck seems cool. Why is standard so great right now? There's so many awesome decks. God, I don't have a stupid thing. I have a stupid thing. No, it's all white. And eh, I misstepped. Nope. Conclave Tribunal. All right. Banefire. I would have cast that last turn if they had it. They must have drawn that. Bones, that is sweet. Is there another one? Ugh. All right. That was tough. I mean, their deck is pretty good, honestly. I'm actually surprised how good this deck seemed. How good this deck looked. I have not seen a deck like that at all. We kind of just like had to waste a lot of our removal spells on like history banalias and just didn't really draw. Like we drew our master removal, but they had their Adanto vanguards, which never died. So both times, Candidate just killed one creature. Things went really, really wrong that round. Um, that was tough. That was a tough one. Not a good one there. Not a, not a good one at all. Bone stack seems sweet though. Now the, the, the Boros four mana card that's not actually a Boros card is, is, is quite good. Nark, new sub, Nark, what's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Welcome. We have enough above burn to win earlier. Nope, they were at six and we had two shocks. The Dado Vanguard is busted. Uh, if you're trying to stop a deck with removal and your opponent plays an Adanto Vanguard, you're just dead. You're just dead. The card's way too good. Way too good. Showing some love and chat for our new subs. I like that a lot. Thank you. And we're at 995 viewers. We need five more to hit, hit four digits. Call grandma. Call your friends. Tell them to tune in. It's Sunday. We're playing some Dunkin' Dinos. I'm a little sad at those two losses, honestly. The Both of those are not like common decks in the metagame. The spells deck is kind of annoying. It's like we just can't really interact, and we still almost beat them anyway. And that white deck just stomped us, and that might need to be evaluated because we have no good answer to a Danto Vanguard. Um, but oh my god, still think our deck is great. All right, well, we got no vibes now, I guess. Mulligan to four. 
Call Grandma. She's old as a dinosaur. She would love this deck. Grixis. Something or other. I would say that a mulligan to four does not, and drawing two shocks does not bode well against our Grixis opponent here. Why no Regisaur Alpha? Well, that, that, that card's in our next version of a deck. Stay tuned. After this league, we're playing more Duncan Dinos, and that version is going to be a more dinosaur heavy version. So, that was a very good draw. If this resolves, we might have a chance to win this game. Did you miss much? Well, we, uh, we lost to like a white weenie deck that kind of just pooped on us with their Odonto Vanguards. And then we lost to a blue red spells deck with the Drake, with the Phoenix that we just like couldn't really interact with. And we like almost won both games. It was super close, but we lost. Everybody do the dinosaur. Yeah, it was like a it was like a, like a white weenie deck splashing for uh, heroic reinforcements. Yeah, I mean we mulligan into four of this game. It'll be a damn miracle if we win this one. That goes for version three. You want to see it? You got to stay tuned, my friend. Good morning, my friend. How many spells in a deck to make Arclight Phoenix good and standard? Um, see our opponent two rounds ago. You need a, a, an unbelievably large amount. Notion Rain. A binge two lands. If they're like never going to do anything... Maybe all these cards we get back from Cove is like really cool. Notion Rain. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh, it's half bad. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste a, a treasure on Green Seeker. I'm just gonna draw more cards. I think Green Seeker is actually better than Sword Tooth in this scenario, so that's why I played the uh, Sword Tooth first. Oh god, it's really annoying. As if our Mulligan of four was not enough, then we discard more cards. All right, I mean we're gonna hope this fight fight with fire resolves. Otherwise, we're probably dead. No main deck negate, please. Sweet. Uh, draw a card. I mean, we're doing stuff. Risk factor? Risk factor is not very good in this deck. We're not applying any pressure, so they can they can take four comfortably. Risk factor is good when you're when you're applying pressure to your opponent, and the four damage actually matters. We're gonna we're we're kind of killing our opponent all in one big shot, you know. We're usually like fireballing them or bane firing them or fight with firing them or whatever. No, Dryad Green Seeker. I am Groot. I am Groot. All right. Well, we've drawn three cards off our treasure thing, and that's a line of Rolf. Right. I mean, all things considered, we mulligan to four. We're still like kind of in this game, so sure. All these spot removal spells just aren't that good against us. How did you get here? We entered a contest. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> Alright. It's, it's a large dinosaur. We're not quite there yet. Only have seven permanents in play, but alright. There's all. I mean, they have plenty of ways to kill it, so. They have Contempt and blah, 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 blah. I don't think our creatures are going to win us the game against them. What is this? End Step Dream Eater? Hmm. We're going to 
let this resolve. They're going to bounce our sword tooth. We'll lightning strike the dream eater. My thoughts on expansion explosion. It seems pretty good. I have Ty, Todd Anderson's been huge on that card. All right, they've been some number of lands. They're bouncing our thing. We kill this thing. And more fantasy updates. Notion rain. All right, they got four cards in hand. They just drew a card they wanted to draw. Obviously, game one's a little tough here. We have, we have all these shocks and, like, lava coils, which aren't very good in this matchup. I guess lava coil's fine, but we've drawn all three shocks that are almost dead cards in this matchup. I guess we get to just do it again, right? Sure. Double shock here. So I think this card sucks. It just dies to all the dead removal in your opponent's hand. How am I doing in fantasy? I'm doing great. I'm in a 20-team pro Magic player league, and I am in first place. I am 4-1, and one, and I have Todd Gurley. So life is good. All right. Like, despite the mulligan of four and all the shocks, don't play Nicol Bolas. Notion Rain? All right. I think we're, we're somewhat doing stuff. Sadly, you're 3-2. What's wrong with 3-2? It's fine. God, don't play Nickel Bolas. Please don't play Nickel Bolas. Uh, that's a mistap for Nickel Bolas. God damn it. Gurley always has a great day. All right, this has got to be a kill spell or we're dead. All right, well, I guess we're drawing live. That's a mountain. Lava Coil. That's a fight with fire. Oh, yeah. We're going to win this game. This game is over. We're going to win this game. I guarantee it right now. Mulligan to four. Draw all three shocks. We're going to win this game. All right. We need another removal spell, but let's go. Field of Ruin. Rootbound Crag. Karn. Lightning Strike. Ooh. What do we lightning strike? It's so tough. Um, we've already used all three shocks, so there are two. There's two lightning strikes left. I guess Banefire does it too to kill Nicol Bolas. Ooh boy. Um, this thing. What is this? If this flips, what happens? Plus two, draw two, minus three to kill a creature or planeswalker. Minus four to put a creature or planeswalker from the graveyard onto the battlefield. Give me. Man, this why do they these bounce spells are so good against us? They could bring this back and bounce something. Alright, let's kill. Let's just kill this. Come on. Big money. That's a forest. That's okay. Reset with Karn. Forest, forest, and forest. God. Oh no, Green Seeker. Okay. That's not really great, but all right. Green Seeker. Frenzy. Tilt. All right. Well, they might have played one too many Nickel Bolses. Again, we mulligan a four of this game. Sure. Man, I thought we were there. If they didn't play Nickel Bolas last turn. I'm pretty sure we had it. They had to, like, if we had two turns of Frenzying... We only got one because now they can just flip, flip Nickel Bolas. Come on. We're not dead yet. What's their mode here? What do they want to do? I feel like bringing back Dream Eater or. It's kind of weird that, that I can bring back another Nickel Bolas. Like, it's not even good, I guess, though, because our hand is irrelevant. Bring back Dream Eater and bounce to the Green Seeker or the Frenzy. It can't tent us. It's Creature or Planeswalker. Probably just draw two, honestly. Maybe we, do, maybe we can still win this game. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe we can still win. Raise your hand in chat. All right, poll time. Poll time. 
Can we still win this game? Poll 40, yes or no? Cast your vote in chat. Can we still win this game, yes or no? Real simple question. Can we still win this game, yes or no? Cast your vote in chat. Cast your vote in chat. Can we still win this game, yes or no? I'm saying yes. I think Nicol Bolas is not actually that good against us. Like, looking at all the modes, they're all very good, but none of them really stop Frenzy. So, can we still win this game, yes or no? Cast your vote in chat. Land, land, Banefire. We do have two Banefires in our deck. All right, they're Dream Eatering. Now we can hit, we can hit Lightning Strike and kill the Nickel Bowls, too. 45 no's and 37 yeses. All right. There's a little positivity out there. They binned Craving Craving, Swamp Steamer. They binned all four cards. They're bouncing the Frenzy. All right, so we draw another Frenzy. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have played land there. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. The math is weird. Damn. Lava Coil, what's up? Mountain. Attack no balls, draw the mountain. Draw the mountain, I think. Group on Craig. Damn it. Uh, we play a land, right? Yeah, so we can... Uh, we field, and there's nothing to really find. So I guess we just say go here. Hi. Like, I think we're live. I mean, there's no point in shuffling because we can't cast any spells we draw. So we can draw, we, 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 if we hit Lanaroff, we can cast that. Otherwise, we can't do it. Let's save it for next turn. Oh, right, we have Strike? Sure. I forgot about the mana from Field of Ruin. Eh, I feel like it's better to save it for this turn anyway. All right, here we go. The first ball up, Dryad Greenseeker. All right, you're in, Dryad Greenseeker. Next ball up, Banefire. But now they can use this to get back the Nickel Bolus. What do we have here? We got... But it's not it's not enough to actually kill them. Yeah, we gotta just go for the bait go for the nickel bowls here, I think. That's five. Five is uncounterable, right? Alright, so let's kill nickel bolus. And a land. Land. Another bane fire. Tilt! Um that one we're going to put into our hand safely and hope we can win the game with that much later on. We currently have 8, 9, 10, 11, we have 11 lands in play. we got a long way to go, but I don't think just like casting this from, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to do that. All right. Yeah, contempt my, my green seeker? Sure. I want to remind everyone, we mulligan to four this game, and we drew all three shocks where they are basically worthless. Just throwing that out there. All right. They will get to Eldest Reborn next turn. Uh, we're one and two. We've had some unfortunate scenarios, I think. We lost to a blue-red Phoenix deck. That seems very hard for us to beat. And then we lost to a really good, like, Boros, Mono White, Weenie deck. All right, there's a field. In a forest. All right, so let's field them. Field whatever. I don't know that one. Decking them seems tough. Top card is forest again. Come on, folks. Let's go. Swordtooth is a start. They're probably best in scatter, but it's fine. Just clear the top of our deck. And another forest? God damn it. It's hard. Ooh, it resolved. Land. Map. Q. 
Kill Sword Dooth. No. Yeah. Alright, sure. Bottom. Rootbound Greg. Oh! Alright. They get back Dream Eater. They can bounce our treasure map. God, bounce is so good against us. We actually want the Bane Fire in our hand, so we can end step pop this, then Bane Fire and kill them, hopefully. Now they're at 24, though, so. They bounce map. All right, we need, we need a good run of cards here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they can Nickel Ball us. Flip. I only have 14 cards left. Draw two, reanimate something. They draw. They drew two. All right. All right. Top card is Llanowar Elves. Just what we're looking for. Dryad Green Seeker. Just what we're looking for. Let's go. Keep the ball rolling here. Another frenzy. Another frenzy is pretty lame. Uh, because it means we, it means we need to sack two frenzies to cast Bane Fire. But all right, let's roll. All right. Okay, that'll play. That'll play. Now they can't get it back either. All right. All right. A lot of coffee, a lot of coffee here. Coffee. Reminder, if you're just tuning in, we mulligan to four this game. Just saying. Mulligan to four, drew all three shocks in our first, like, five draw steps. Ritual of Soot, sure. What's the ultimate? Oh, the ultimate kills us, right? All right. I guess we can always pop all the frenzies and then fire this if we have to. We have Fight with Fires in our deck, too. Treasure map. All right, so we have 6, 12, 13, 14. We need 12 mana. Oh, we have 15 mana. We need 12 to kill all three frenzies. So just be aware of that. Karn. Needs more Gaius Blessing. We have nine cards. They have nine cards. Um, We've got... We've already used... We have one fight with fire left. We only have one bane fire. I don't know if we can actually win. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because we we don't have enough cards left. How much mana do we have? We have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't know if we can win. I highly doubt that Karn Constructs will be able to kill our opponent because their hand's probably just all removal spells. Um, we probably need to cast the Fight with Fire and the Bane Fire, but they probably have a counter spell. I don't have a counter spell, actually. They'll deck first. Well, they're going to kill us in two turns with the, the ultimate. So, all right. Let's cast Karn. Karn. I mean, the maps actually might do it. With the Bane Fire. Alright. We'll have one card in our deck. We draw it and then we kill we, we kill them, theoretically, with the with the Bane Fire. Let's search for treasure. That also helps. That's not bad. This strike. So we go treasure. They go plus, we go treasure, they go ultimate, we go draw card, treasure, treasure, these are rituals, so three, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That actually might be enough. All right, let's, we're going, we're going face. Lanaroff well, doesn't hurt either. We have six cards left. The ultimate's not going to matter, so we're going to have one card left in our graveyard anyway, so. Cast Lanaroff. We have four mana. Wait, we need to scry and pop these frenzies. We can pop them next turn. And then, yeah, the following turn is the turn we kill. We're going to make Construct, don't worry. I guess I should, I should do it before we do stuff. All right, sure. There's Fight with Fire. Awkward. We can scry it to the bottom. Five cards. Give me sugar. Lightning Strike, that's pretty good. We're not going to play any more stuff. We'll just say go here. Alright, so our plan is to... On the, the ultimate turn, or the end of the game, we're going to flip both maps, have end step destroyed... Ooh, Dream Eater? That's annoying. Um... We might need to kill this. Let's see what they target here. They target one of the maps that throws a wrench in our plan. We also have the fight with fire too. So that's our bottom card right now. Um, they binned. So they gonna bounce my construct? Sure. Do we need to kill a dream eater? I don't think we do, actually. Alright. This is a wild game. They've already cast... <laughs> That's really annoying. Uh, they've already cast one moment of craving, one contempt, two contempt, two craving, three craving, three contempt, four contempt. They might they might have one moment of craving left. Kill Karn, sure. Karn's Karn is irrelevant at this point. If you're not enthralled by this game, you don't love magic. Alright, so we strike them. Llanowar Elves. We want to leave Llanowar Elves on top. Ooh, they have Syncopate in their deck? That's a problem. Syncopate might throw a wrench in this if you need that fight with fire. We have four cards left. Draw Lano Elves. Three cards left. Play land. Alright. We're setting up for the Banefire next turn. So we're going to say go. We're going to map map. Blow, blow all three frenzies, untap, map, map, and bane fire them for 20. They've only cast three thought erasures. That could be a problem. All right, if they have a thought erasure, they have a thought erasure. I, we can't we can't really play around that at this point. Our play is, is pretty forced. Notion rain? If they have a fourth thought erasure, they're about to find it and cast it. Please don't have it. 
I mean, it made me so happy if you didn't have it. They put an island and they kept a card. Oh, don't do Thought Erasure, please, please, please. Not like this. We have we have enough to bane fire them for lethal. I don't, I don't think their life total matters. We have we have more than enough. We have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We have 20, so. Well, they already have the ultimate. Okay. The ultimate is exile all but the bottom card of target player's library. We only actually have two cards in our library, so. All right, end step. Scry. Keep on top. You have mana, right? Probably lamest, lamest ultimate of all time. Destroy this. <laughs> to be top or bottom our last card? I don't know. Destroy this. Scry. I'm going to top this one. Untap. Scry, empty library? Oh, there's like a 5% chance we just die there. This is probably the best game magic I've ever played in my entire life. Ah! Happy Sunday, everyone. Can't even moment of craving. You're dead. The greatest game of all time. The greatest game ever played. Pawn says, such a great game, GG. Good sport, too. That was probably one of the best games of Magic I've ever, I've ever had on stream. Like, probably one of the best games of Magic I've ever had on stream. Um, I don't know if we can beat that ever again. I might just stop streaming. Like, that game had literally everything. We mulliganed to four. We drew horribly. We set it up to win with the last possible card. Oh, my God. That was... Whew. That might actually go on a best of. I might actually make a separate video just for this one game. For the best game of all time. Oh, boy. All right. Take a deep breath. We still, we still got a match to win. This is like, you know... I don't even know what it's like. New subs. Superman. Untapped Island. Thank you, my friends. What are your name? Where are you from? Questions are in chat. All right. Let's focus here. We got a match to win. Uh, take out the shocks and the... Lightning strikes. We're gonna bring in. Give me sugar and water. Still, uh, still reeling from that one. Uh, bring on my dinosaurs, I think. Give me. Let's bring in the threats. Do I want a crushing canopy? It kills both their creatures, but. So do our burn spells. Oh man. Whew. Oh, that's a cheer from the crypt. Cheer. Yeah, that's top, top, top games of all time for sure. Uh, I'll bring a Lava Coil. Oh, they're going to have the Phoenix, actually. I mean, the Phoenix, the uh, the Spectre. Captain Brown, I resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great game of MTG. Yeah. All right. Um, so we have Lava Coil, Fight with Fire, Bane Fire. Maybe we want um, the Canopies because it also kills the... the the Spectre. They're definitely going to have three or four Spectres. Um, so we want to make sure that they, we don't, they don't Spectre us. The Spectre is a huge deal. Let's cut... Let's bring these in. Let's cut a, a Fight with Fire. They're going to have counter spells. Real Milkman! Woo! Amazing. What's tabbed out? What'd you miss? Sorry, friend. So it kills, yeah, it kills Bolas, kills Spectre, kills Dream Eater. Holy crap. I want to cut a land. I think. Um, or on the draw, I'm gonna cut a mountain. What the hell is that? Got 
Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed, you hit that follow button, of course. If you missed the last match, uh, yeah, I, I, I got nothing for you. You just missed it. You know, you're the person who shows up to the scene after, like, Spider-Man, you know, saves the school bus and goes away. And, and you show up, you're like, what happened? And everyone's like, oh, man, you missed it. It's over. Ooh, boy. Why not cut Field of Ruin? Because Field of Ruin still cycles uh, top card of your deck. And the early mountains are less important because we don't need shocks and stuff early. So, Oh, boy. All right, we're keeping. We still got to win the match, all right? I know that was crazy. It was fun. We haven't won the match yet. So what the hell is that? let's try and do that. Thanks for following, everyone. Oh, the follows. The follows. I will tell my children about that match someday, and they will tell their children. Welcome aboard. Search for Escanta. All right, we have Scavenger. We also have Brontodon, too. Um, what the hell is that? Could play a Sword Dude to play an extra land, but... Hmm. We also have Field, too, so this, this doesn't really do that much for us. Give me. All right, what's... Scavenger or Brontodon? I think it's Brontodon. Because if they kill it immediately, they kind of can't kill it immediately, honestly. Woo! Cope! Cope, Cope my ignoring you? How did I ignore you? What'd you say? Why not Spyglass? What does Spyglass hit? We shouldn't let them flip Bolas if possible. Yeah, we we have mono search 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 for Ascanta answers here, so we're fine. Thought erasure. A testament to the power of coffee. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Folks, you're tuning in. Welcome to the stream. Picked, picked, picked a good day to tune in. Over a thousand awesome viewers. Give yourself a hand. A little football Sunday here. I am home. I'm not traveling to a tournament. I was in Columbus last weekend. I'll be in Dallas next weekend, but I'm home this weekend. And um, I was going to have a, a day relaxing and watching football, and I have a lot of work to do. But I saw no one was on, and I wanted to play some dinosaurs, so that's what we're doing. Took Crushing Canopy? All right, so they definitely have a Nicol Bolas. Um, so, let's see. Treasure map is good. So we got a plan ahead for this Nicol Bolas. What are we doing here? We want to... We play Scavenger. They play Nickel Bolas. We discard. I don't think Swordtooth is very good right now, honestly. I think Banefire and Map are much better, and so is Field of Ruin. Um, I think we just, yeah, played Scavenger and Slam Jam. I guess if they have Ritual of Soot, it's a disaster, but they should have boarded that card out, probably. Like, it didn't do anything last game, you know? They might still have it in. That would be a disaster if they have that. Alright, you know what? Let's play a little conservatively. Let's um, attack with just Brontodon, and we're going to play the the Scavenger, but we're going to leave up a mana to destroy Search if they have Soot. Is that fair? Is that a good hedge? Tank, don't worry, my friend. You have a good day, and don't forget the videos are always on YouTube, all right? All right, we're going to eat. I think we're going to eat the Swamp, actually. It doesn't matter, actually. It's a non-creature card, right? Yeah, so... There's no choice, never mind. I thought it was, it, if it was a, a non-creature, non-land, it got bigger, but it, just, it gets bigger anyway, so. Current wait time, wait time on deck techs? Um, I could do a deck tech after this league. If they have Ritual of Soot here, it is actually pretty tough on us. But, again, they saw our entire deck last round. It only saw Lanowar Elf, the 1-3, and the, the Sword Tooth. Obviously they have it. Alright. That's fine. Our hedge pays off a little bit. Man, all these fantasy updates. Alright. That's tough for us. Alright. We have nickel balls probably. No, Notion Rain. Alright. Notion Rain...
I think we're going to upkeep Scry and look for a land and play Sword Tooth. College football? I don't follow college football at all. So, Stony Brook Seawolves. My alma mater. Stony Brook University. Alright, they bin the gate. That's interesting. They would bin the gate. Because they probably have another to gate. Which is annoying. Map is very good in this deck. Alright, mountain, please. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Yeah, plays. They have Essence Scatter? Nope. Thanks for following, I would appreciate it. You haven't followed that follow button, of course. They got Nickel Bolas plus Negate here. That would be tough for us. No. It's main phase Dream Eater? Alright. Is that going to bounce our map, I guess? Oh, that makes sense. We can't flip the map. Sure. Matt lives in Selden. Sweet. I was in Selden yesterday. I was at Brothers Grimm playing a, uh, a PBD cube. Sea Wolves. Alright, bounce map. Another sword tooth. Yuck. We could obviously field for a mountain, but <sighs> This is version two of Duncan Dinos. We're playing version three after this. More of a dinosaur heavy version. Seaport Deli, that place is good, but the hype is a little too much. Mario's Pizza, right across from Seaport, is the best Italian food I've ever had in my entire life. Me and Nicole go there, go there all the time. Alright, um, we map here, we're not affecting the board. We play Sword Tooth, we're not doing much either, honestly. We could feel for Mountain and then play Map. Then we're not scrying. All right, I can buy that, I guess. Typically, if you want a map, kind of costs three. You really want to be able to use it the turn you play it, if possible. Um, but this is fine, I guess. Still want that stomping ground, you know. All right. Well, they have this flyer in play. Um, we do have Banefire to kill it. All right, let's upkeep. I don't want to just slam Frenzy here because I feel like they have a negate because they binned a negate. So them binning negate feels really weird. That'll play. Um, yeah. Sure. I'll buy that. It's not really furthering our plan. Anyway, but it's buying us a lot of time. Sounds good, Cope. Copeland, Tyler. Appreciate it, friend. Not our ideal hand. We're kind of floundering a little bit here. I mean, that, that Ritual of Soot was backbreaking. Um, we boarded out some of our engine cards and brought in some of the, uh, the dinosaurs. We didn't board out that much, but... All right, they're also not doing much either, which is really good for us. So, fight with fire is bottom. Forest. Do we just do we just slam frenzy here? I think we do. The payoff so so high if it hits. I think it's likely to get countered, but let's just do it. We have map about to flip, so yeah. All right, disable stroke. Sure. So I was pretty sure they had some some sort of counter spell. They only have two cards left though, so they're they're a little a little low. Next turn we get to scry, flip map. Um also we'll have City's Blessing next turn too, so they might soot here. Sweet. Alright, good. I like all of this. Upkeep scry. Rootbound crag is gonna go to the bottom. We don't need that. Flip. Draw green seeker. Sword tooth? This resolves, we're not going to cast the Green Seeker. If it doesn't resolve, they have Essence Scatter. They have one card left. Do we cast Green Seeker? I don't think it's worth a card. I'm just going to say go. I'd rather just draw three cards off Treasure Grove. Because Treasure Grove is so good. We also have Bane Fire in our hand. And they are. Ah, never mind. We had Bane Fire in our hand. Who am I going to see in Dallas next weekend? Who's going to SCG Dallas Fort Worth? 
Raise your hand in chat. Who am I going to see there? We do have three Bane Fires in our deck, so not too worried about it. Green Seeker. We should just play all of our stuff, honestly. They already cast two rituals, so it's that they have a third. They've cast three. They've we've they've seen three rituals of Soots. They haven't cast three. They they've been one for something. So they have the fourth one, whatever. If they don't, we have a reasonable clock here. Uh, it's a modern open, I believe. Modern individual open. Who am I gonna see there? Well, we could. I mean, we maybe we just green seeker actually. Maybe we're better off trying to clear the top card of our deck. Yeah, this that's more valuable than one damage, I think. Maybe I should have green secret first, actually. I don't know. I'm not a math person. Someone can tell me the odds. Top card Frenzy? Ooh. So the problem is if they have a counter spell, which I think is fairly likely because I don't have anything else, obviously, they get to counter our Frenzy. Eh. What else are you going to do, you know? Bam. That's fine. Draw. Frenzy. Oh. <gasps> Frenzy, don't third stroke me. No. I mean, it makes sense. They have syncopate. Ah, oh, all right. Now they have one card left. We attack. Like, it does make sense they have counter spells in their hand, because, like, what else could they possibly have besides lands? But I think running back to back there is fine. Sorcerer's Spyglass? I mean, this is fine. What are they going to name? Our top card Scavenger, too. That's cool. I, mean, I guess they can name Treasure Map. I mean, they named Green Seeker, we start attacking. It's, it's possible I should have been attacking each turn anyway, you know? So. Right, like, is it, turning off Green Seeker isn't even that big of a deal. Alright, I'm going to get rid of, uh, they have any creatures in their graveyard? No, we have any creatures in our graveyard? We have a few. We have a lot, actually. I'm going to get rid of our, our Brontodon, just gain some life. Um, the... If they Eldest are born and get it back, or Nickel Bolas and get it back, you could kill them something. I don't know, whatever. The spells in their graveyard don't seem relevant. You used to call me on my the greatest match ever played. Woo! Yeah. If you missed that first game in that match, I'll be putting it up on YouTube. It was probably the best game of Magic I've ever played on stream, ever. Uh, we mulliganed to four. We drew all three of our main deck shocks in our first, like, eight draw steps or five draw steps or whatever and then we won the game with our last card on the last turn after a nickel bolus ultimate with a bane fire for 20 and it was the greatest thing of all time i mean they have three ritual of soot so what's the matter all right we lost two matches this league i'm a little sad about those losses but i think they were kind of like eh, you could have won them you know Ugh, that's awkward that was a stomping ground i might keep but don't think we can keep this one. We're gonna mulligan. This hand is bad. I think we have to keep this one. Any land allows us to cast map. We also have coil. I'm gonna keep. It's a little risky. And then if we try, we just have a green source in our top two cards. Then we're in great shape. Uh, we're gonna keep that. It's okay, Burns. You don't be scared. You missed a Bane Fire over 20? You did. You missed one of the best games of all... Oh, no. They're playing Mono Red. This hand sucks. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Alright. Don't be scared, Burnsy. Evolving Wilds. Uh, Alright. Let's search for treasure.
What's up, Admiral? You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. It's Football Sunday. We're playing version 2.0 of my Duncan Dinos deck. Wayward Swordtooth, Experimental Frenzy, Treasure Maps, you name it. Here it is. Deck is super sweet. Played it earlier this week. This is version 2. We're playing version 3 right after it. It's a more dino-centric version of a deck. And uh, I'm excited. You should be too. I guess we upkeep Scry and look for a land here. That's land. Top it. Now we play Land of War Elves or Treasure Map. I think we play another map, actually. Um, I feel like they have like a Lightning Strike or something, and this Land of War Elves is just going to die if I play it. I'm just playing a map. It's more mana efficient also. Duncan Dinos. What happens when you give a bunch of coffee to a big dinosaur? Things get crazy. If you haven't followed me with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. A Danto Vanguard again? Oh, this card's so good against us. Alright. Upkeep Scry. Green Seeker? I don't think we want that. I'm just going to make some land drops, I think. I'm going to bottom this. I'm going to Scry again. Looking for a land. And I want to play Lano Elves also. Uh, Fight with Fire. I'm going to bottom that too. Draw sword tooth. All right. Sugar. I feel like this land off is not long for this world, but next time we get to flip measure treasure map and play sword tooth and stuff. So, all right, that's fun. If we go into our turn with land off and two maps, I think I'm gonna be in pretty good shape. Thanks for following, everyone. Appreciate it. Okay. It's pretty weird to activate that ability randomly. Perhaps they are playing a Wrath of God or something. Or like, not Wrath of God, like a Cannonade. Deafening Clarion. That's adorable, I suppose. Alright, so they get to gain some life and kill my Lano Ralph. I mean, I suppose worse things have happened, right? Once again, we lost to a Danto Vanguard earlier. This card is very good. We lost to two decks that seem good against us. Um... Arc Light Phoenix, Blue Spells, and, and White Weenie playing a dot. Probably, probably the same deck as this, honestly. Oh, I didn't scry. Oops. Ah, awkward. All right, I was talking. Okay. Um, That's bad. I, I really need to scry there. That was terrible. All right, let's pop this. Uh, it wouldn't matter. We draw Lantern Elves anyway. And let's, uh, I guess, play Sword Tooth. We have four, eight. We're not there yet. We're going to lose one, too, but... Gotta love a world without a braid, right? I mean, I'm unhappy they killed my elf. I kind of wanted that elf, but... Now the question is, do we end step scry with a treasure? I think so. Let's get to our next treasure. All right. Back for another round. Hope all's well. Alan with the second month of sub. That's very important. Only better than a new sub is a returning sub. And month number two is the important one because it means you chose to come back. So I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Main deck, Lyra Dawnbringer. I guess this is the Boros Angels deck. All right. That's, that's kind of problematic, honestly. Uh, Sword Tooth is insane. Uh, if you've been watching... If you just started watching, yeah, it looks bad this game as we have kind of an awkward draw, but Sword Tooth has been absolutely insane. I have no doubt that the Sword Tooth Frenzy engine is insane. Question is, what's the right uh, what's the right thing to do with it? Returning subs, you say? Returning subs, you say? All right, we're gonna bottom that. We don't need more Sword Tooths. Sword Teeth. Mountain. All right, well, we're taking a hit here. Um, this Lyra is going to get us for a turn, but we're also about to go off, so... How many of these treasures do I want to crack? Or I just leave them in play? I could play another Sword Tooth and then play Frenzy. I think I do. This means that we able, we're able to go bananas. Never hit a land clump. We could also just hit, hit lands here, too. 
There's a land. Lightning Strike. Alright, well, we can upkeep that Lightning Strike and maybe go after Lyra. We'll see. 23 months in a row. Pajama Salad, you the bomb. Remember, all my new subs. We have a private Discord chat server for subs only. Private Discord chat server for subs only. Uh, link up your Twitch with your Discord. If you're a new sub, it takes about an hour or two before it like gets linked. Um, hop on there. Best place to hang out with uh, me and my, my fellow subs and your fellow subs. Check it out. Private Discord chat server. We do lots of fun stuff on the stream. We, we, we did like a a stream sub only Survivor Football League. We do stream sub Christmas cards. All that stuff and information is on the Discord. So why not attack? Because they have a 5-5 five, five first strike angel and I have a 5-5. Five, five. Conclave Tribunal. So they're going to try and kill my Frenzy here. It actually isn't that bad because now I can play Coil and Strike on the Lyra and play a new Frenzy. Can you get prepaid cards to some people on Twitch? I don't know. I'm not sure. If you have Amazon Prime, though, it's free. They're going to hit one of my my sword tooth. Sword teeth? That's interesting. They have another one? That's a weird choice. I don't know. That's kind of weird. All right, so upkeep. We're going to untap. I think we're going to lightning strike Lyra and just hope we find another burn spell. It's going face. is not really doing much right now, so... All right. Frenzy. That's a stinky one. Rather than cast it, I think I want to just draw with Cove and clear it. Green Seeker. All right. Please find a shock. Come on. Car? No. Alright, uh, I think we're in trouble here. Lyra seems pretty good. Hey, we kind of screwed up this game really early on when I forgot to scry. Destroying Frenzy and playing Coil is like... It's a thing. We have a we have a lot of outs to Lyra. Like we have Fight with Fire, we have Bane Bane Fire, we have Double Burn Spell. Alright, come on. Here we go. Shock. We're going for it again. Shock it. Lightning strike. Done. Easy as that. It's easy as that, folks. There we go. Green Seeker. Cast it. Play a land. Play a land. Uh, hit the land. Put it in our hand. Another land. Alright, that's a lot of lands. Um, and we're going to leave the Swordsmith back on defense, I think. They have two cards in hand, and they're at 29 life. we got a ways to go here, but we're, we're fully online. We may pop the Frenzy end step if we have to, because we have more Frenzies on a car and stuff to cast and stuff. We'll see. Adonado Vanguard is unfortunately really, really good against us. We just can't kill it. Um, so we are at four. This Vanguard is a serious, serious thing. I need to take one second, folks. I'm sorry. Football is about to start. I need to double check my football lineups. Uh, I had two players who were questionable. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This doesn't matter. Allison, because Allison's tomorrow. I need to make. I need to see if um, Ebron is playing for my my DraftKings league. Uh, Looks like he's playing. All right, sweet, we're good. Once again, me and my, me and my buddy Jay do a. Uh, oh no. They get a deafening clarion again. So we got a block. We could just go to one. Is going to one okay? They probably have lightning strike in their deck, right? It's tough. Football time. I don't have red, red zone, no. All right, so... Do we go to one here? The problem is if we... 
What is this? They just have a removal spell also? Alright, we're just dead. Oh, nice. No, we're not dead, but we're 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 pretty close to dead. The Danto Vanguard is so good. Alright, well. We gotta find something to block with here, or we're dead. Because we can we can just cannot kill an Adanto Vanguard to save our life. Mountain Forest. God damn it. Alright, so we gotta pop the frenzy and play car, make a blocker. Pop the Frenzy, play Karn, and they only have one card in hand, so we might still survive here. Sanu or Locket? I don't know. Oh, God. Alright, that game was a little frustrating. I mean, Adondo Vanguard just 20 us. I mean, the Bane Slayer also got some, a bunch of hits, too. Ugh. Playing against a weird part of the format here. Um, we played against Adondo Vanguard twice and Phoenix once, and those cards seem good against us. Uh, Alright, we want to cut... I think they're playing, like, the bigger deck. I mean, Crush of seems phenomenal here. Um... Karn's got to go. I think these shocks seem bad, too. I think we want some... I mean, Brontodon blocks Adanto Vanguard, also kills uh, Conclave Tribunal. Um, Lava Coil kills the other angels that they're playing. I mean, they're probably playing History, maybe. Uh, we don't want Cannonade. Do you want Death Gorge Scavenger? Spyglassing Vanguard is crazy. Like, that's just, like, too much work. Um, uh, scavenger being also, like, one of the things we can do um, is just attack them to make the, uh, to make the Vanguards aren't as good, not as good if we they take damage. Let's use stuff. Scavenger or Brontodon? I think I like Brontodon. It blocks Vanguard. I'll even one Karn, I think. Do I want the third Lava Coil? Lava Coil, I don't know what their, what their threat base is, honestly. I'll leave Karn in. Like, all we saw was Vanguard, Clarions, and a Baneslayer Angel, you know? The, 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 the Adanto Vanguard just, like, twanged us. Mac. Sweet. Take two. I took to heart some of your advice the other day. And I think I made a lot of really positive changes. Sweet. Uh, we'll do that after this league, my friend. Thanks, Mac. Ten dollar deck deck. Alright, this hand's fine. Just wait longer. No, Vivian Reed. Um I think our spells are better than Vivian Reed, and Vivian plays very poorly with with Frenzy. Like, you just draw cards that you can't use, so. Thanks for following, Fiend. If you haven't followed, here with that follow button, of course. This hand's fun. How about this hand so far? Hell yeah, we got over a thousand viewers. We're having a great Sunday. How y'all doing this fine Sunday? Football Sunday, Dunkin' Dino Sunday. <sighs> Card's so good against us. All right, well, we can actually land drop, which is kind of cool. Jameis Winston or Matt Ryan for fantasy? If you're in chat, answer the question. Help each other out. Ban Adanto Vanguard. This card's too good. This is a card I've played a lot, obviously. This card was a cornerstone of my Saram Auras deck. I've played a lot of Adanto Vanguard. This card's really good. I mean, oh god. Here we go. It's definitely Clarion time. Uh, 
Man, they 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 really love this combo. Top card land? Come on. You can do it. It's a sword tooth. Uh, that's tough. It's not great. I mean, thankfully that's not really that bad for us. Like they just wasted their whole turn to kill my creature and didn't really like that. That could have been a lightning strike and the exact same thing happens, you know, so that's fine. Alright, we're gonna Karn. Karn plus try and find a land to play. You usually get a land with a Karn plus. Fight with fire, treasure map. Alright, that's not ideal, but. Danto Vanguard. This card's really, really good. Um, I think this card is fantastic. Just really, really good card. Two mana, basically Doom Blade and Boros Colorist. Great for control decks. Great for aggro decks. Great for it's just a really, really good removal spell. They attack Karns. Karns buying time, which is good. All right, there's our frenzy, um, but we're not we're not in frenzy mode yet. So let's plus trap on a land again, right? Tom cards fight with fire. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? Forest, forest, sure. Um. Exciting style, RXX. I'm not sure, honestly. I follow players more than teams for fantasy, so... Alright, we get the Green Seeker here. What's up, Kingfeed? I think we're alright here. Um, if they have, like, Lyra next turn, we have Fight with Fire with a, a thing on it. I guess they could attack Karn to 1. We can still get it, though. Aurelia? It really is pretty good. What's up, Catchy Plane? How's it going, everyone? So now this is going to be a five power creature with Vigilance. This kills Karn. Do we care? I don't think so. Next turn we go, ideally, map plus Frenzy. Man, this thing has five toughness. Damn. I could have blocked and gotten the fight with fire, maybe. Uh, that might have been better. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. I kind of... I, I I didn't really, like, see this super clearly. Did you Brontodon? Ugh. Five permanents. Yeah, that, that, was, a, that was a huge mistake. I should have just blocked. Block, get, get Frenzy... And then play play treasure map and set up for next turn. Yeah, that was bad. Okay. Um four. I think we look for a land and try and play map frenzy. Sweet. Alright, we're online. Top card land? Damn it. And now our 5 5 can block too, which may or may not matter given the attacks, but. I guess we could attack them. We probably, yeah, because they, if they just put the Aurelia on the, the Vanguard, we can't block. So yeah, we just might as well just attack, right? All right, it's all in the frenzy, and then if they have a uh, uh, conclave tribunal, we have the brontodon as well. But yeah, we 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 made a serious mistake last turn. We, we definitely should have uh, just blocked and saved Karn and then gotten this Shalai. All right.
They target there. They mentor attack for eight. This is tough. We're playing in some weird decks today. Um. All right. Take a hit. Untap and big money. Let's go. We got we are our entire engines online. We should be able to play at least like eight cards this turn. All right, land. Banefire. Okay. Banefire Shalai is we're gonna start at. Sure. Banefire Shalai for four. Land. Another land. So now we got a green seeker. Uh we green seeker here and we we miss on a good spell. We might just die. We got, we got a block and just chump block basically. Ugh. A Tonto Vanguard's too good. Um I guess we just scry then. But if we scry then what are we even drawing to? Like, we don't have much that kills Aurelia. All of our cards that kill it cost three. Uh Whatever. Just do it. Just do it. Top card, Green Seeker. All right. Another Green Seeker? How many lands have we played? Have we played two lands so far? So we're out of lands, too? Ugh. All right. Um, all right. We're going to attack. If they have a removal spell, we're dead. I think. We just can't beat this Vanguard. We just we have no way to kill this thing. We have to just jump block it every turn, for the most part. Um, we could try and race them. And if they're if they're below ten, a fight with fire kills them. So we're just gonna attack. And they might they might have a kill spell, they may just win the game here on the spot, but I think this is uh probably our best chance to win. So we're going to scry and leave the Green Seeker on top. Alright, another Vanguard is good for us. That is good for us. Another Vanguard. Alright, so we're, we're live here. We're not dead yet. And we have... A number of good outs to be okay this game. Um, they target here. They attack. We block. We take four. And now we have, like, we have blockers. We have crushing canopy. We have... They just not attack? That's interesting. Misclick, they say. That's lucky for us. All right, leave this on top. Just put a counter on treasure map. All right, draw. Mountain. Lightning strike. Now, where does this go? This must just go to the face. If I target Aurelia, there's a reasonable chance we can just like hit another removal spell. Um, they have definitely in Clarion. We're super dead, yes. I boarded out all the shocks, so if I hit Aurelia and we miss on another burn spell, it's pretty bad. We shoot Vanguard. They just pay four, probably. I guess hitting Vanguard's it's not necessarily better than going upstairs, but Maybe we do it the Vanguard. Then we have multiple blockers. Then we then we survive a Clarion too. All right, sure. Attack first. That's that's crazy. Lanor Elf. Another Sword Tooth. Forest. Oh, <gasps> we did it. 
Crush that canopy. Play more lands. We're doing it all. I mean, I mean, I mean lands have so far. Mountain, forest, mountain. All right, we're out, we're out on lands. So, do we? We definitely attack for five. And do we play this map, or we just we just scry with this map? Let me just scry with this map. Yes, each sword tooth is additional lands. There's nothing we can actually play aside from Lanor Elf if we scry this to the bottom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scry. Land. Alright. Yeah, I mean, get it for five skis. Drink that coffee. Coffee. Five. Six. I kind of like attacking with another, with another green seeker. Also, we still we have plenty of blockers, and this puts them in exactly three. So if we had a lightning strike. We just kill them. Yeah, I like this. Also, if they have deafening clarion. They're gonna die anyway. So, but I might even I might even get a green seek. This there's really any point. Am I in a fantasy league? Yes, I am. The draft is on YouTube. Actually, I am in a twenty team fantasy league full of magic pros. Uh, I'm in first place. I'm four and one. I have Todd Gurley, and life is good. And again, the, dra the draft is on YouTube. Yeah, that's a pretty easy block. I agree. My hot cocoa is no longer hot. Oh, yeah. All right. We just gotta beat these damn vanguards. Um, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We saw more of their deck that game. They have a lot of flyers. Um, and we have Fight with Fire, Lava Coil, Crushing Canopy. This is fine. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Right, Burnsy? Everyone show some love for Burnsy. Burnsy! Nope, not that one. Burnsy, man. If you love Burnsy, say so in chat. He loves you too. Look at Burnsy. Look at how, look how happy he is. He's having a great day. Alright, everyone's all football frenzied out. We'll take two seconds to look at my team. That's my squad this year. 20 team league. I'm in first place. Prescott, Gurley, Cooks, Watkins, Ertz, Jones, Allison, Garcon, Chubb, Edmonds Brown, and then this this kid last week picked him up. I played him last week. Yes, I did. Twenty team league. Again, the draft is on my YouTube. Go find it. Check it out. The uh, a lot of Magic Pros. It's run by uh, Steve Rubin. Pretty fun league. It's our fifty year running. I've come in second twice. I have not won them. This is the year I'm feeling it. Todd Gurley all the way. Oh boy. Mulligan. All right. Bottom. Coil kills Shalai. I do fantasy hockey also, yes. I've done fantasy hockey also for the last few years. I've won the championship twice in fantasy hockey. I run the league. Um, we're going into year five. My team's pretty good. We haven't started yet. We, we started a week late because the draft got all screwed up. Please don't play Adonto Vanguard. What if they just don't have it? They ever consider that? Just like not having it? You know? Like, come on. What's the video called? It's just on my YouTube. Just go to my channel, scroll down, you'll see it. This is a good time a good time as any to bump my YouTube. Everyone, go follow me on YouTube if you don't already. Check it out. Standard, modern, other formats, right here. Fun magic stuff. Girlies back up. Pretty yeah, fun. Oh, all right. I don't know if he can win or not. Double Vanguard is exceptionally brutal. All right. I mean, we have our engine online here, so we are sword two thing, and then playing an extra land. We have frenzy ready. 
Yeah. Dondo Vanguard is too good. Plague Mare. Yes, that dude cheated on camera. It's ridiculous. I mean, we are 100% dead. We just... Our deck is incapable of killing the card of Dondo Vanguard. Like, I mean, we just can't win. Weird, weird league. I'm not going to lie. This has been a very, very peculiar league. Um, two Adanto Vanguard decks, the Phoenix deck. We almost beat all of them. Um, but, I mean, if Adanto Vanguard is going to actually be a thing this format, we should probably have an answer of some kind. I don't know what that answer is in red and green. I mean, we, we, we brought in blockers, you know? Like... Yeah. Alright. Alright, I mean... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, so, 2-3 is obviously not a good record. However... I think that our losses were a little stinky. Um, the white weenie deck seemed pretty tough. I don't know how prevalent that deck's going to be, but Dondo Vanguard's tough. We need an answer to a Dondo Vanguard. Um, that's a card that I have not just did not consider at all being a card in the format. And we played against it three times. Twice? Three times? Twice. And then the Phoenix deck was tough. I think we have some tools there in Scavenger, but not all the tools we need. Um, we lost to a blue-red uh, Arc-like Phoenix deck that was just like four Arc-like Phoenix, four Goblin Electromancer, and then a bajillion spells. We just couldn't really deal with their spells. Um, we almost won that one too, like just barely lost that one. So um, I think this deck is great. Again, I, I, I think our matches were a little bit weird. Um, we, we won the best game of all time against Grixis, where we all get to four and won with zero cards in our deck with a Banefire for 20. Um, which was insane. Um, if you missed that one, go check it out on YouTube. But I think that is great. Um, I think Phoenix is beatable with uh, Fight with Fire and Coil. I mean, I mean, I mean, Strike. Once you get going, you can often just like strike it and step and then untap and like Fight with Fire and kill everything. Um, the O4 and just block it. Yeah. I don't know. There's probably answers. I mean, we did bring in blockers and stuff too. But overall, I'm very happy with this deck. Um, the deck seems awesome. The engine is great. I don't, I'm not sure about Karn. Maybe Karn's a sideboard card for like the control matchups. But Karn was medium. Um, so I'm a Jets fan. Take it easy, all right? Uh, map's great. Green Seeker's great. Land of is great. Our kill spells are great. Fight with Fire is great. Bane Fire is great. Sword Tooth, Frenzy. Yeah, this is, this is the more traditional version of a deck. We're about to try um, a newer version of a deck, version 3 with more dinosaurs. That's going to be next. So if you're watching on YouTube, look for that video to go up. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, that'll be playing right now. Um, so, yeah. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. And I think that we're... We're in the ballpark. You know? We're in the ballpark. Joel Larson, thanks for following. I don't know if that's the real Joel Larson or not, but... Um, sweet. So if you're watching on YouTube, the video will end. If you're watching on sh the stream, the stream will continue. We have 1,200 awesome viewers. Give yourself a hand. You're all awesome. Thank you so much. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, uh, at Jim Davis MTG for all your updates on streams. I have a big announcement next week. Uh, after six years and almost 250 articles, I am leaving StarCityGames.com. Six years. Love Star City. Love Cedric. Love everyone. But we got something new coming. That announcement's going to be next week. Stay tuned for that next week. Follow me on Twitter, at Jim Davis MTG. Going for uh, 10,000 followers also this year. So, what's up, Joel? Have I considered... I missed it. Where'd it go? Consider Phoenix? Um, we could play Phoenix. Phoenix is like a little off plan, but it's obviously like an insanely good card. Phoenix is a triable card. Could be a thing. I'm not sure. But I'm going to work more on this deck. But if you're watching on YouTube, that's going to do it. So, YouTube, I'll see you folks later.